What's up, everyone? Kawhi Crew here, and welcome to the Weaves of the Roundtable podcast. I am the Kawhi Crew. Well, obviously. Yeah, just... Uh, this joining me is Ron Reviews, Oliver Smiley, um, and we also got two new members as well. One is Ryu Seishun. Uh, that's how you pronounce it, right? Yeah. Ryu Seishun? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, you got it right. Okay. And the other special guest is the one. The only, the legend, <laughs> the GOAT, <laughs> Memory NK. Yo, what's up, guys? Yeah, he, the, the whole reason. The most Memory striked NK. reactor in North America. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I think yeah. we all, yeah. we we all know the, that pain. Who I definitely yeah. not forced to be in this podcast. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Although, granted, yeah, yeah I, think, I think, honestly, you and Kawaii both have had probably, like, where your channel has been in danger. I usually have stopped to where I was like, oh, I got two strikes. I'm not even going to touch anything anymore. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> yeah, you guys have actually had, like, like, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we've, we've been through a lot of shit. Yeah, or, um, Ryu, uh, tell me, tell us a little bit, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? And, uh, all that jazz. Oh, um... Well, bas- well, basically, right as of uh, the beginning of this year, I've started to do anime, a- anime reactions on my on my channel. Uh, right, I don't have the fanciest sort of equipment, the fanciest sort of set- setups, but I can do whatever I can. I use I usually try to react to se- the seasonal stuff. I don't I don't usually do stuff that has already been aired unless unless if I want to do stuff on my own accord or if it's by a special request I can fit in. And uh, I and at times I will do I will do live streams. Although I do have at this point in time have some P- PC issues, which makes it a little uh, quite a bit you know uh, hard, hard hard to do at this time. I'm I'm in a, actually in a play, I'm in a position where uh, it is uh, where I'm still doing reactions, but because of the but because of how my PC runs, it, it, it is I would have to have to stream directly from the website instead of like an upload. It's it's kind of complicated stuff. I'm not going about it, but I just put out whatever I can. Um, I um, I sometimes would do, you know, discuss discussions about what about certain certain anime issue. Although this is kind of rare, I sometimes also upload my top my my top ten uh, a- anime openings of a certain season or half or whatnot. I've I've recently just I've recently just started it. Although I I've kind of slacked off um, which ones I want to pick for this season. Which is already about to end. So yeah, that's yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much what my my content is right now. Nice, nice. And then of course we also have M- Memory NK. Yeah, I've been doing reactions since summer of 2015, starting out with like Prison School and oh, God. you know Monster Moose Char- Charlotte <laughs> Monster Moose. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, oh, I've been doing man. reactions for about three memory years now. What was that? Sorry. Sorry, Memory, I just have to ask um, a very important question when it comes to Muslim Muslim, eh? Was, uh, was it the censored or the kind of scary? I think you already know what it is. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Who was best girl? I, I, I actually... The uncensored? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. oh, of course. No, no, no. I, I was saying who was best girl? Who was your best girl? Yeah. Oh, in Monster Musume? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, man. Y'all really gonna make me do this? I mean, yes. uh, I've yeah. I've had fights with Kawhi Crew on on this one, so <laughs> I've we um, actually had our own little waifu war. Uh, me, personally, I, me personally, I, I I would say Miro. Ooh, wow. I remember you said Ooh. Mia. Mia or Miro? Okay, yeah, Mia okay. yeah, or we'll, we'll just say we'll just say Mia. We'll just say Mia. I like <laughs> Sue too, though. Ah, see, oh, it's, oh yeah, Sue. Sue. It's hard. It's between those three, but I'd probably Sue say Mia. Best. I'd probably say Mia or Meryl. It's between those two. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, see, I, I'm a degenerate. I'm a, I'm a rebel. I pick someone who's not even in the main. I pick Zombina because I, I, I yes. No, 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 no. That's mine. That's mine, Robin. That's listen, mine. Listen, listen here, you little shit. <laughs> Wait, is anyone's favorite here? Um, uh, what's her name? Rackney. And Centoria. Oh, is that her name? Uh, yeah. I think she's like the least favorite. She's my know. least favorite. I think yeah, honestly, she is my least. Yeah, she's my least favorite. I mean, yeah, I mean, honest, I think she's like the least favorite out of everyone. She's still great as a character, but in terms of like appeal, yeah, for, she's probably least favorite in, for me. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've been so, doing so, reactions. So Centoria haters out. 
Us Centoria <laughs> lovers. Yeah, but I've, been, I've been doing reactions for three years now. It's really what my channel has primarily been based on. I've uh, mm -hmm. been on and off between a bunch of channels, you know, but still here doing it somehow, some way. Mm -hmm. I must love anime or something, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah only, memory, only three memory, years, yeah. Those rookie numbers. Memory is the OG. <laughs> he is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was here when you could use footage. <laughs> in your oh, reality. Oh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. You are oh, a relic. Yeah. <laughs> you are a relic. The good old days. Oh, man. man Bro, I oh, still man. remember your, 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 like, first, your first house or something. Like, yeah. your first, first house you recorded videos. And your blue. Yeah, blue. I was doing uh, high school DXD reviews with a uh, sleeveless shirt on. And people were making oh. fun of me. If, if I can remember, if I can remember, you had a you had another channel where you did. I think it was Carbonary of the Iron. Yeah, like yeah. Iron. I've had oh. I've had a like three channels, <laughs> four channels, something like that. Oh yeah, uh, but yeah. Bounced around a lot, but yeah, I'm still here. I've been on my I've been back on my main channel for a bit now, so yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, my I'm favorite anime, good. Gurren Lagann, the goat. Yes. Gurren I was saying that Gurren Lagann. Don't at me. <laughs> no debate. <laughs> no, no. Right. Honestly, wait, no, who's your, wait, right. who's your favorite? Wait, who's your favorite? Wait, who's your favorite girl again? In what Monster Musume? Oh. Or, oh, yeah. Gurren Lagann. No, no, he was saying Gurren oh, Lagann is the uh, is the goat in terms of anime for him. Yeah, I gotta I gotta throw it in there. I always do usually. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Especially when oh, I'm yeah. with a new group of people. Yeah. So yeah, Gurren that's Lagann's me. Right. That that's me. I mean, me personally, I, I, I use the stereotypical answer of Cowboy Bebop, not only because I like it, but because, you know, it's one of the most a influential anime for the Western scene. It definitely popularized anime. Uh, it definitely got anime a leg up in the Western scene because of it. That's why. I and, like, it. nobody can, nobody can like, even debate. Like, nobody can, like, I, I don't know if there's people out there who actually, like, hate Cowboy Bebop. Like, so you're not going to have people at your neck for that. Yeah, I think people, like, you don't have to think that it's the greatest anime of all time. That's perfectly fine. But it's just, just the appreciation. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, I, like, same thing, uh, I think Akita is one of the greatest anime movies of all time because of how it also brought a lot of Western uh, influence. So it's yeah. If you don't things. appreciate Cowboy if you don't appreciate Cowboy Depop, you're going to carry that weight. <laughs> 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 I, I like that. That's good. Yes. I'm 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 actually I'm here just lost because I need I've yet to see that but I already know it's pretty I I'm already sure it's going to be really good. Wait, so. wait, 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 wait. You've never seen Cowboy I, when Bebop? I can find time. Ah, man. I I I was caught so much that it just kind of just floated by, floated by. I'm just like I was one of those I was one of those people that you know not it was like it was like um so before like prior to 2014 it was like this is that was when I really started getting it like like previously it was more of stuff that was you know suited for a, a smaller sort of franchise like i was like oh i was like usually in uh Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh right there and it was only like around 2014 when i started like really really kind of branching out but even then i didn't have as much time at the time to be able to to be able to go to go that far so Cowboy Bebop was just one that just kind of that just unfortunately passed under my nose until recently but i do plan to Watch it when I have, when I have, when I do have the time. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's really one, it's really one you have to watch. Really, it's, like it's, every, yeah. If you're an anime fan, you have to watch. Every anime fan should watch Bebop. Yeah. At some point. Eventually, yeah. like I need to watch Evangelion and get apparently mind fucked. So that's the one thing that's always oh, yeah. on my. Okay. That's okay. Like, that's okay. A must. <laughs> okay. I have not watched the uh, the you know the one point zero one point. Those are the rebuilds. One point zero two point three. Yeah, yeah, the rebuilds. Yeah, the rebuilds. I've, but I've watched the original series. And the end of it, and I was just like, "What?" Oh, the, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, see, I watched the original uh, first. No. Oh my gosh! I, I, I was like, "What well, did you watch first?" I, I watched the rebuilds first, and I know a lot of people are like, "Don't do uh, that," because the it's the animation quality. Yeah, you better because do the that. original the original is go, goes more to death. And I I'm I'm actually never been someone who was like, "Oh my gosh, animation quality is like not as good as the original," or the the one that I watched. Um, so that won't mean too much to me. In fact, I'm probably going to get more out of it when I watch the original because it goes into more depths and more uh, craziness that I know. Yeah. Yeah. So personally for me, I'm, I watch the rebuilds because I, I it's just so much fun to watch. It's very aesthetically pleasing to watch. Um, but in terms of like storyline, I know I'm going to get a lot more if I watch the original. And eventually I will just watch the original. I'll just sit down and just watch it. It'll probably take me like two days or something because knowing me, I'll just marathon it.
Uh, no. Don't watch the last two episodes of the original though. Just watch uh, End of Eva. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. Yeah, I, I was sold that too. I was. Yeah, I haven't too. even watched. Oh, yeah. the, I haven't even watched the last two episodes of the original. <laughs> I did. I did, oh, and I hated feels it. Feels bad, man. I hated it. <laughs> I have to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I have to say this, but I absolutely despise End of Evangelion. Really? I don't, yeah, oh, I, wow. I I think End of Evangelion was a really bad move, See, honestly. I, I, you think I, it's I, I worse think... than the last two episodes of the original? Yes. Oh. Oh. So, okay, the first, okay, it's not like I, okay, so I, so I didn't think it was the, the I didn't, I think Evangelion was really well. I personally didn't, didn't like like it, but I thought it was a better sort of conclusion. It, I mean, I, did, I I actually had a point where I was looking at the first two, the, the, those last two episodes. They were just they were just going through his mind, just like, what am I trying to what am I trying what the hell am I trying to watch here? And so the end of Evangelion just felt like something more of the substance to where I'm just like, oh, so this is how this happened. As opposed to the mind fuckery that I got in the in the past year, I was like, I don't want to want to experience that shit again. See, this is why I like wanted to bring in Drunken Otaku too, because I know he he's a huge yeah. fan of Evangelion, and I would have loved to hear his input on that. Um, I, I think he really likes Eve, End of Evangelion. I think he's like was a huge fan of that. I know oh, a lot of people well, think it's like I mean, a masterpiece. I mean, I mean it's all personal. I mean, if, I mean. Uh, let's be fair. I I think I've mentioned it before. I I personally don't like Evangelion, but I respect for what it tried to do. Yes. I mean, for, like it took it wasn't the normal sort of mecha thing. Well, it was a deconstruction. It, oh, yeah. it was a deconstruction there... of the uh, mecha genre. Oh yeah, there was nothing like that up until that point. If there's, if there's something, <laughs> if there's something I do like, is deconstructions of certain stuff. Like I actually Madoka really, Magica. Really, uh, you know, I, I I love that. I love that fucking. I love, I love that fucking series. I haven't, I haven't seen that yet. <gasps> I still need to watch that. <gasps> what is wrong with you? No, wait, which Ma series? Madoka, Madoka, Madoka? Madoka. Yeah, they never said Madoka. Oh man, that is the, that. That's the deconstruction of a uh, of a uh, magical girl of uh, magical girl genre, and it's amazing. Episode three. That's yeah. all I had to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, when you realize. And now look what, and now look what Madoka's, look what kind of series we have coming out nowadays. I that, know, yeah. Honestly, because yeah, of Madoka, from, yeah, yeah, because of Madoka. That's like what Eva, like what Eva. Yeah. yeah. Without Eva, I, there's no like. I think that I think Eva least... popularized deconstructions. In all honesty, I think I don't yeah, know if it I, was like I, one of the first ones, <laughs> but it was the first one, one of the first ones to get really popular and then bring deconstructions as an actual like genre. And I actually I think. Love it. I think Madoka Magica was inspired by Evangelion when I think Oh, probably. It. Probably. I mean, but, like I said, Deconstruction probably got popularized because of Evangelion, and uh, and Madoka Magica is a yeah. Deconstruction, so it probably took a lot of inspiration from it. Same thing with other Deconstructions, but yeah, Madoka Magica, I would highly recommend it. And then you can, and then you need to watch the third movie. Not the first. Uh, if you watch the series, you don't need to watch the first two because the first two movies are. Literally I, third, I, I watched the third. I watched the third movie too, and I loved that one as well. It, 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 but we need damn, a we need like, a fourth. We need uh, a fourth. Like, okay, did anyone? Did, did anyone? Did anyone have? Has anyone yet to watch it yet? I mean, or has everyone watched it? I I know. Well, I except for the I haven't seen the I haven't seen it. Uh, that, yeah, so I think it's only that me and you. That um that part is just like. You just see how like that one her Homer is just like you just look at him just like damn that so how much you consider like is was she doing was she doing the was she doing the right thing or not and you're just like wow all like she did that all because she cared for Madoka yeah yeah, Madoka. yeah. I'm just like holy sh holy shit like just, like she could just delete the she could just delete everything just for the sake of Madoka that's it's actually kind of scary when I think about it. Oh, yeah. so that's where all yeah. the Yuri Dojins came from. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. A quick little side note because you brought that up. A quick little note because you brought that up. The original author uh, and story writer and uh, artist for Madoka started off doing Yuri and then made Madoka Magica. Just well, a little, just a little cliff note. So, yeah, Boom. I found that out when I was researching. Wait, so he started Yuri Dojins before he yes. did Madoka Yes, and then Magica. he did Madoka Magica. <laughs> Yeah, Damn. that's that's yeah. the case. That's the case with a lot of um, the authors, like the Okayado, was... the author of Monster Musume. Oh he was yes, an anti -artist. yes, yes, he was. Well, well, I could see where, well, I could see where you got <laughs> that inspiration for sure. In fact, most, in fact, most <laughs> that makes a lot of uh, sense. The, the author for Chio School Road, 
He was a hentai artist as well. Really? I did not know that. Yeah. Oh, well, shit. I didn't know that either. Huh. Well, um, when I think about it, that the gags in the, the gags in Shio Chang, with the considering that and the, the you know reputation he has, the okay. way they displayed a lot of the jokes. Yeah, some of them are pretty perverted, yo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like... I can see it. I can see it. I just, I just didn't know that. Especially yeah. without, especially without what that, that, that one blonde, that one blonde senpai. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> I know Boob what you're Zilla. talking about. Boobzilla? Yeah. Boobzilla. Yeah, Boobzilla. Company, company, company. <laughs> she just loves ass, man. Uh, I mean, this one's probably more, more um, in your face about it. But Food Wars, the original author, was named his um, his pen name was Tosh, and he was a really prominent hentai artist. Um, and then he made Food Wars. Um, okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Shoko okay, so, that, no Soma. so the food. Yeah. So the food gasm scenes made sense. Yes. yes. Incredibly. But like, I... sadly, I was like, I've seen this before. This art. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh wait! Yeah, this I was like, is right. I was like, I was like, I've seen, I've seen this, I've seen this particular art style, but because I was reading it, I'm like, this looks really familiar. I looked it up. Sure I don't know does. this. I don't know this artist. Pen name Tush. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! I see. I'm not complaining anymore. Uh, but yeah, I, yeah, I know the I've author of, of uh, Air Gear. I think the author of Air Gear was also a hentai artist. There's a like a lot of very popular ones. Yeah, I think surprisingly the author for uh, High School D- uh, of the Dead. I don't think he was. I think he just started off doing High School of the Dead. Yeah, that's right. He oh. only did High School of the Dead. He didn't do anything beforehand. After, that we know. I remember of. correctly. I mean, uh, yeah. That we know yeah, of. Yeah. yeah. But rest in peace. Rest in peace. Mind you, High School of the Mind you, High School of the Dead sucks, but that's another story. Uh, oh, oh, oh my god, dude, 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 dude. Okay, I enjoyed High School of the Dead, but I still thought it was really, really bad. Like, there are jokes, there are, sh- okay, don't get me wrong, when I, with sometimes when I rate shows low, it doesn't mean I didn't enjoy them. It's just like, I, I enjoyed what they brought, but everything else, I just like, oh, I didn't like that, I didn't like that shit. You didn't that, like that, when that, her <laughs> boobs moved at the speed of Mach 2? During the but part like... where it flew past the bullet, yeah, that no, was no, 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 no. great. <laughs> I mean, that's where I learned that the, the bullet can fly between titties. I mean, no, 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 I, no, 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 I love that. I know I love that part though. Honestly, I enjoyed that part. Honestly. Did, did people actually <laughs> did scientific? Of course you did. <laughs> people did scientific math and were like, in in real in reality, if the boobs move that fast, they would rip off her chest. I'm like. They actually did the numbers. I'm like, they did the math. They did the actual math. They're like, all right, so this is the size bullet they shot. This is the direction they're going. This is how fast it went. Well, I'm according like, to the Pythagorean theorem, of uh, this angle, three point two one five seven. Her tits would be moving at eight thousand miles per hour. Yeah, I don't think that would actually. At a radius it. of. Wait, they actually tested. Wait, they actually They legitimately. Yeah, they yeah, science. Yeah, they yeah. science bitched it. They legit. They're like, yeah, science. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> hey man, like, the yeah. internet is wild. Man. I know. They should have done. No, they should have done this for Miss Buck. Nobody you measured. Wanna, like you want to know team. why that the internet is great? Bowsette. I'm done. Uh, Bowsette. <laughs> yeah. I, I had to talk. <laughs> I had to bring it up at least one time because that is the internet craze right now. And thank you, Jesus, that Japan exists because I have never known I wanted this in my life until I've seen the fan art. Thank you, Japanese artists. I I I I hold the candle to you. Because I, I never knew. Japan, Japan is wild, man. I mean, we, and look at, look at, here we, come here come the here come the dojins, here come the memes. We've looted. The, only, I, I mean, not, think about it. We've looted of the earth. We have now looted our own yeah. cells, and now we're looting Bowser. What I mean? <laughs> did you see that meme? Did you see it? I yes, saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we had, Lord. like it was Dragon Maid. We had to fuck, we had to fuck dragons, and then we did, saw Earth. Yeah, we had to did, fuck the Earth. We saw cells at work. We had to fuck our own bodies. Oh, <laughs> did you see my contribution to that? No, did you see my contribution to that? Oh yeah, because... back in 2006, we wanted the fucking Earth. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, fake. <laughs> Because nowadays, I mean, like, think about it. Like, before 2006, you would never go away, go around saying, "Hey, I want to fuck King Arthur." Nowadays, it's pretty uh, like, yeah, I would fuck King Arthur too. That's not so bad. <laughs> I mean, granted, oh, if, I were, minute, so, uh, if I were to go to my parents right now and be like, you know, King Arthur's kind of hot, they would just look at me and be like, you know, you're a disappointment. You should have gone to church. Yeah, I, I can, I can one up that. I can, I can one up that. Did you know that Leonardo da Vinci is quite hot too? <laughs> oh yeah. 
got, he hasn't really got hot. We got that rack. Da Vinci. We got that rack. That rack on Da Vinci, though. <laughs> Son, you, you, you should. Oh really my see, god. You should really see Jesus. That's, I, I can swear to. I, I swear that's. What oh I'm my god. I mean, oh 20, there we go. Twenty nineteen goals. I want to fuck Jesus. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh uh, no. Good night, everybody. That's the end of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, what are we talking about? I, I know, right? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Welcome, I know we're just gonna get demonetized. Welcome get to Weeps at the Round Table, where we're talking about looting anything from the earth to Jesus. <laughs> We you know, really you are going this. down the rabbit hole in this one. Yeah, remember, you don't get this kind of shit with Annie Brigade. <laughs> that, is that is true. Oh. That is true. That is true. Jesus. Yeah, remember, remember, yeah, pretty much, remember, what you have to understand, right, is that our conversation is pretty much 80% talking about loot stuff and about 20% talking about the actual seasons. Yeah, because yeah. you know- Well, I, I, I don't mind, I'm, I'm gonna say that, I don't care. See, we're like the, we're like the uh, unprofessional professionals of being unprofessional. <laughs> we're like, all right, so, all right, so today we're gonna go do our introductions, then we're gonna go talk about some anime. But yo, that Leonardo da Vinci- That's funny, though. like, I don't- <laughs> That's funny, like, when it comes to, like, college and shit, I couldn't give less of a shit. When it comes to boobs and ass, yeah, I'm like a professor. I mean, I mean, yes, that oh, yeah. is. I mean, there are things that are take more priority in life. You know, yeah. food, clothes. That's second rate. When we talk about anime titties, that is like that. That is on a number one on the list. Number one on the list. No exception. <laughs> uh, so, do do. You... Do you want uh, me to get us back on track and to, let's start yes. talking about summer 2018? Let's actually talk about uh, summer 2018. Yeah. And, yeah, okay, let's, so let's, let's get back yes. to the topic. Oh, okay. Okay, and all right then. And to start off with, speaking of um of boobs, it's yeah. a kind Mao. <laughs> There we go. Oh, right. oh wow. Yeah, you guys have definitely had fun with this one. I, yeah. Quality. How do you guys like it? Okay, as someone who has, like, literally has never seen an entire... I have not seen a single episode of it. How would you explain this to me? And if you were trying to get me to watch it, what would you say? Hot Elf? Who wants to yeah. know? <laughs> it has always seen, like, the first episode. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, I thought you would watch this one, Kawhi Crew. I thought you would watch uh, this one. Yeah, I, I, uh, I've posted this on Twitter before. Okay. Um, but a, like, okay, here's my name for here's my name for it. Kono Overlord DXD. Pretty much. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Discount Overlord, but like more fans. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But it, I actually, actually, the, the part when they kind of, you know, break down the sort of, you know, the mechanics of the world you guys can still hear me right yes yeah 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 okay, yeah. yeah we can hear you. okay so so basically what i kind of what i kind of like about it is just that he the guy he, diablo does get challenged and they really touch on some stuff that is not that that with most isekai series they don't really touch on as as well i mean like you know with the, the thing the thing regarding death in isekai like in other stuff they don't it's not really talked about as seriously like in Re in Re Zero, it's 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 dark, but well, because, because of Subaru's like um, sort power. of ability, yeah, you yeah. can just reset to where it no no one actually dies. Or like in Kono yeah, Subaru, yeah. where like he'll die and then he'll just get re resurrected immediately after like. Yeah, but when you second Mao, but when you second Mao, when when people die, they they just they stay dead. There's no resurrection. <laughs> people die when anything. they are killed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And it's it's kind of it kind of has the start like Konosuba like with like the like it's not as funny I would say as, as Konosuba but like mm -hmm. like Diablo the demon lord is supposed to be like the like the slave of these two girls but he actually they have like these collars around their necks and they're actually like they end up just being his slaves yeah so it's like yeah because of <laughs> reverse magic yeah reverse magic <laughs> so I was like. Okay. Like, because when the series first started, they were like, "Oh, you're our slave," and he's just like, "What? <laughs> like that? They, it's not gonna work like that. That's not how this is gonna be." <laughs> like, you're the ones with the dollars. Uh, La Gangs was here because he didn't like the anime version of this. Uh, obviously, Kai Mao because uh, wait, he's read. Uh, he's read the... Wait, who did? 
Who didn't like this? Law, Law, Law Games. Law, Law. Law Games. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because he's, he's read the uh, light novel. He's been reading light novel, and, like, that's apparently, like, a thousand times better. So he, like, he, he, as the show went on, like, he was watching it in his own time, and he was pointing out, like, all the differences mm -hmm. and how the, the what like, all the differences the anime fucked up, pretty much. So... Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah um, in the end, he really didn't like it because apparently, here's my thing with the, according, to, here's my thing. according to him, sorry. according to sorry, no, you're I'll, good, you're I'll good, let you're you still talking. Yeah. But um, according to what La Games said, is that apparently it's a cow. In the end, um, well, the anime anyway didn't explain anything, and I was like, uh, where are you getting this? Because it explained quite a lot actually. Like apparently, there was no character development according to La. There was no actual world building, according to La. Um, and this, I, can, I, can, I can kind of see the world building not being there, but like, was he watching a totally different show? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah which was... I mean, that happens a lot with, with light novel adaptations, though, yeah. like with Overlord. Like, I have comments like every week on my videos, like, oh, like, there's people who put literally paragraphs in that, like, this is what they skipped over, or like, that was yeah, I've not seen that in like the Reddit episode. discussion threads. Before. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like, th it's like impossible to like nail every single thing with, with, uh, exactly. with any, any adaptation, Just, any know, adaptation in general. I think it's, yeah, it's yeah, almost yeah. impossible to do that. I mean, right, there's right. a lot of manga adaptations, especially with the time that's given to oh, yeah, for, I mean, and the you know, production companies to to get him you know the series out and all that so oh, yeah, definitely yeah so and, and okay. they have to rush it so yeah which i, I mean isekai mao it's like here here's my thing like the, the isekai shows are usually hit or miss for me like honestly like yeah. there's konosuba which i love there is re-zero which i love there's um but then on the other hand there's like death march to the parallel world rhapsody there's in another world with my smartphone like there's a, those those ones that i just don't really care about yeah yeah so Can like just... with with demon lord and with these isekai shows in general like especially the generic setup ones which you could say isekai mao is pretty generic it doesn't have like the craziest setup but yeah. like the characters are freaking awesome in my opinion or at least oh, I, yes. I found the characters enjoyable especially diablo when you have like mm -hmm. a like someone like Diablo, he reminds me of what's his name from Devil is a Part-Timer. Oh, uh, Mao. Oh, he yeah. reminds me of Mao oh, yeah. from, from Devil is a Part-Timer. Oh, so kinda. he's like a snarky he's just kind like, of... So, so he's snarky. Yeah, he's like a... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. I actually, that's, I actually that's might how watch he this. I, I, yeah, and I've he's, he's like... <laughs> yeah, he's like a bad... In, he's a badass. You got like... You got the different kind of preferences Here's for girls. My... You have the big titty Shara. You have the lowly-ish type oh, yeah. of girl with Rem. You have... You know, right, picture yeah. there. Wait, they have so, a I mean, the... thing with um, here's my well, thing well, with, with um, how not to summon Demon Lord Isekai Mao. Okay, so they, mm -hmm. the main character he's supposed to be like this OP ass like OP ass dude, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but it airs on the same season as Overlord, so that's kind of like one of the reasons why I just kind of stopped. I just watched the first episode and just kind of stopped because like oh, you, I feel you like were Overlord, so comparing it. Yeah, I feel like Overlord like it it just. I feel like it does the OP character at another world aspect a lot better. Well, I mean, oh, yeah, I'd I, agree with that I've 100%. Seen, yeah, from what I've seen, I mean, from what I've seen, it looks like Overlord has its moments of more lightheartedness. I mean, um, sorry, um, the other one, um, Devil's uh, the Summon. Uh, that looks like it has more uh, moments of, of yeah. yeah, that looks like it has more moments of lightheartedness rather than Overlord. Overlord looks like it has more serious moments than, I would well, say. Cause... Isekai. Well, um, Isekai Mao does have a cop, does have comedy tag to it, and it is sort of a fan, has a fan, has its fan service. I mean, Overlord is more dark humor. Okay. Yeah. Overlord, Overlord is, Overlord is like we got to remind ourselves that Ainz is, Ainz is still technically a, it's still technically a villain, but it, but I, okay, I'm a little biased when it comes because I kind of really like anti-hero sort of. Humor. Like protagonist with anti-hero sort of you know uh, role. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of biased with that. Or characters that look that look innocent for the most part until at one point they turn they turn really dark or villainous down down the road. Okay. Those are kind of uh, shows like I'm a little biased for. I mean, that's why. That's well, why that I happens. Really like I'm not, I'm not, I don't I don't want to say too much because Roman wants to watch it, but that does kind of happen. It's a kind of male. Okay. That we have a character that. You know, you know, looks 
good, but um, no, acts good, but really, uh, not really. Okay, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. Yeah, it One just seems also... like it's it, it feels yeah. like it's almost a little bit hard to compare the two because they do feel like just from looking at it in, in a aesthetically looking at it, it does look like they had two different tones. So that's why it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's that's why it, yeah, yeah, that's why it feels sure. like it's hard to compare. That's like although granted this is a complete opposite, it's like comparing Konosuba to ReZero. Yes, they're both Isekais, but one's on yeah. a serious note, one's on a on a satirical concept. Well, granted, yeah, but you yeah. you can compare like these two. Yeah, the general tone of the series, but like I, I mean, you can easily compare like Eins to Diablo, in, in my opinion, at least, because okay. like yeah. Just like how the story, or like how some things are, are shown from their like point of view, like something that I think of as like differences in the in the world they're in compared to the original game. Yeah. Like sometimes there'll be things that just like catch them off guard, or like they'll be like, "Oh, I don't remember this happening," or like, "When was when were things like this?" Yeah, because that like happens with Ains quite a bit, and that happens with uh, Diablo a lot too. So there's things like that, and just like, but I mean, I I would say more so. Diablo is like Mao from Devils of Part Time, like like with uh, yeah. Ramen said, like the snarkyish kind of yeah oh uh, attitude, but which is something I I actually personally like, so that's why I'm I'm actually yeah. that makes me look forward to actually watching it because I I've always liked that snarky character and Mao was a, was a great character in general. Yeah, and I mean, in, in Isekai Mao, like each character gets their own like character arc. Like you have Rem's kind of character oh, yeah. arc, you have Shara's, you have so I mean they they. I mean, I th I think they work with it pretty nicely compared to like. You know, there, there are these... Yeah, because in fact, it's also only twelve episodes yeah. too. So like, there's that's a lot that gets done in that twelve episodes. Yeah. Which I kind like, of like. I really that felt episode, for. I say what happens in the last episode, but I will admit I kind of wish they had instead of twelve episodes, it was thirteen, because it felt like you needed something after the twelve episode just to help you like calm down a bit, if that makes sense. Like, I think they should have had an extra episode that, like, it could have just been them just, like, I don't know, walking in a field somewhere. Like a more yeah, because it, that... it just left off on, like, the end of Alicia's character arc. So, yeah, that, I mean, the way they they kind of had to end it like that, I guess, just oh, with totally. the way they had it paced off. Mm. But, like, I really, like, I think they really did a good job with, like, Rem's character arc, that, like, that whole thing, and then Shara's. I, I thought that was, like, that trio, mm. like, of Diablo, Rem, and in Shara is like like my favorite thing about yeah. the show honestly and and Diablo uh, like I was gonna say it right now Shara to me is best girl I would agree with that <laughs> I'm with you on that I pers I'm personally with Elengard that's just my that's just my pick though I mean I kind of oh, okay. like yeah. I kind of like Elengard's sort of uh, character just character design because unlike most Fallen she's she's of course if designed better I mean she's a lot She's a lot. She's a lot more built. I like her sort of speech. Her speech dialogue. I like the fact that she has. She's a. She's sort of a lancer, and the fact that she can hold her own in the fight. Hold hold her own very well in the fight. Um. The, it's it's kind of a personal thing. I although I do really um, although I do really wish they touch. They really touched upon her more because it, yeah, it was yeah. She didn't really have that bigger character role. So that was something. Yeah, I, I can't really say of, much oh. on her because, uh, you know, we didn't really get like a lot on her. But mm. yeah, but I mean, they, I, like they the always... character, like that's the thing. The characters are good. I like uh, the characters are fun to follow. It's it's a uh, the action's not anything like too crazy, but you know the action you, you you know is okay. Like you you for you know for what it is, it's not it's not like the worst. I've saw worse in Isekai shows. Yeah. So I mean, it has oh, a good oh, mixture of everything. A little bit of what you want in in you know these kinds of sh in these kinds of shows. But they actually, oh, okay. do they actually like try to make like an effort to like at least try to talk a little bit on each character that are, that is like at least relatively prevalent in the story? Oh yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, they definitely do. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. that's they something. I, yeah, do. that's like... something I usually have a lot of um, uh, qualms on because a lot of people have uh, uh. a really big cast and are, like people I want to know more of. They just like, hey, you're a side character. I you have a nah, nice design. Nah, nah, nah. That's it. So I, I that oh, actually that, that that does make me glad that they actually do try to expand upon. Yeah, it's like, the kind of male they actually do try. Yeah, they do try and um, you know, give everyone some time to shine, if that yeah. makes sense. So everyone gets a bit of their backstory and all that. So it's great. Yeah, that's yeah, there's a, there's so, a bit that's, of everything. That's great. okay. So, so I don't know about I don't know about you I don't know about you guys, but I've 
came to a point where if even if, even though a current show I watch is usually bad, I at least try to watch it at least to see what not to do. Like, cause I've thought about it. Like, if I go, I've thought about a career where I might be doing, where I might be writing a story of some sort. So I watch these shows to know what not to do. Yeah. And uh, there's one particular Isekai series, not Isekai Mao, not Overlord, but another Isekai series that did everything fucking wrong. Which one? It is How How Korean Valkyria, whatever the hell oh, that's called. No. Master of Ragnarok. Is Master it? of Ragnarok. Oh. <laughs> for the love of for I've the love of so <laughs> much <laughs> bad oh, stuff bad from that. I've heard that nothing but bad It is probably worse. It's probably the worst thing I've ever watched. Really? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say worse than hundred. Yeah, it's worse than hundred, bro. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. It's worse than hundred. Like, like, didn't just, you just drop that after the third episode? Yeah, I dropped it, and then I came back and actually finished it. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. You're talking about Matt, Matt, Matt. you're talking about the Master of Ragnarok and Blesser of Ininja, whatever uh, it is. I heard you, Matt. Oh no 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 no! It's called. Master of Ragnarok, Ragnarok Bottom. Just call it that. Ragnarok <laughs> Bottom? <laughs> Ragnarok Bottom. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, I, I have to... Ragnarok Bottom. <laughs> I, had, I struggled to watch this every week. Like, I literally... I Like, for some reason, every time I went to go watch it, I, like, my body was like, no, don't watch no, no, this. No, no. I'm like, I... No, no, no. I str- How bad is... No, I struggled... Like, Oh, right, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. I was just saying, like, I struggled to watch, like, finish this, but I managed to do it. I, I watched the entire thing. In the end, I gave it a seven, so I was thinking seven. of giving it a six. Yeah. Uh, I it, gave it. When did it come one, out? I gave it. I couldn't even make it past episode three. I, I was think, it like. I, I gave I, it one out. I gave it one out of ten. No, actually, not just one out of ten. One out of a hundred. How bad was it? How bad was it? Whoa. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. During the ep- during each episode, half the time I was just so distraught. I one or two, two one or two of these things happen. One or both of these things happen. One, I am drift, or, or or maybe three, or the combination. One, I'm kind of just drifting. I almost doze off. Two. I'm reaching for my phone and almost to the point of where I'm playing Tetris because I know this shit. <laughs> and I know this gonna go down where it is. Or three, or three, or three. I'm just like, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just like, I'm not. Yeah, quest, yeah, that, that. Wait, any wait. of the three, any comp, one of those, or any combination of three. That's how bad it was. When did this the come out? The only thing that would have redeemed this series. This, came out, this came out this season, Ronnie. Okay. Oh really? Oh shit. No, if, if yeah, the only this, thing that this was, was from this season. season. The only thing that would be, that would be any entertaining about it is if he actually banged one of them. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Dude, I knew that I was, was getting I was getting rid of that shit when. Uh... To be fair, that would probably make any harem better. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was dropping that though when I forget what episode it was. It was two or three where he tries to get the one girl to join him, and he was like, "Okay, you're gonna be my my sister." <laughs> You're gonna be my oh, little no, sister. Oh no no! Don't get don't do not start. Do not get <laughs> And he's started. like he's like oh this girl you're gonna be my cousin you're gonna be my little sister you're gonna be my wife like what? Ma- oh like, my what god! Is- memory, this memory. Guy has some I kind of weird so- fetish, bro. What? No no! I was when they were addressing themselves like that. I was just like, what the shit is this? <laughs> well, what? It's like an excuse. It's like an excuse they give for the guy to not to not have. And the, yeah, the fact that he didn't like every time they tried, to, the girls came, tried to come onto him, like he just backed off. Like he was like, "What are you doing? Stop!" It's like I was like thinking, uh, "Like, are you gay or something?" Like the way that you act around them is just like, "Hey, no homo, no homo." You know, I, I, I know, I know he's really not, but like it's just the way he acted sometimes. I was like, "What are you thinking?" Like you got. All these attractive girls really wanting to bang you, and yet you, you it's like, no. I mean, like, have you seen these... Infinite Stratos? It's the same shit where all. <laughs> Infinite Stratos no, is no, the same. Yeah. No, he's. No, no, no. But Infinite Stratos was actually more enjoyable. This, though, on the other hand, <laughs> none. 
not. Dude, yeah, like the the MC of Infinite Stratos is a hundred times better than the Master of oh Ragnarok. My God. Oh my and that's God. Saying, oh my that God. is saying a lot. Oh, oh man, I, 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 I need to watch this now. I really need to watch it. Hold no, on. you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, because hey, no. you have piqued my interest as how something could be so bad. No, no, Dude, you're no. gonna like have you watched, face have you watched, have you, so have you bad. watched the? Okay, have you watched Sak Sakaju Muhai no Bahamut? I think it's okay, but the, the way they went with the show was just bad, and because the MC is really dense, he, Honestly, would, be the best... god. he would be a god compared to this dude in Ragnarok. I'm just saying. Dude, the girls I in that just... series. Whew. Yo, oh, I, 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 yo I, real shit. Uh, Lucifer was the best yeah, thing about Hey, yeah. hey, quiet. I gotta agree with you on that. I gotta agree with you on that. I gotta agree with you on that. <laughs> I gotta agree with you on that. If we're talking about good waifus, like from this season, there's only for me personally, there's only two besides uh, Isekai Mao. Actually, that's next three, but the other two that immediately makes me think of great waifus is Sales at Work I, I knew it. I knew it. and <laughs> Grand Blue. <laughs> Grand Blue. Sales at Work wait, wait. and Grand Blue. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, wait, Grand Blue. Are you talking about bro, Red Blood Cell Asusa, or Playlist? Asusa. Oh man, from Grand Blue. The purple haired oh, girl, Asusa. I still yeah. haven't watched that show. Know, she same, is same. Oh. Yeah, you need to watch me. Yeah, oh, that, that's man. on my list. That's on my list. Dude, if I was a 2D character, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all want to be 2D characters? And we, yeah. <laughs> that feeling oh, with waifu is not real. Also, one, yeah. one thing I want to say, um, kind of connected to the today. To the, uh, I want to go back to what Memory said about like saying I, I would like show like how not to summon demon lord like i posted this on twitter but like how i view De etchy like or like harem shows right now it's like i don't know if it's like my tastes are maturing or the ones we've been having lately are are, are not as good but I, i'm just kind of like losing like interest yeah in they, there's been pretty dry like, i know lately. i know it's, it's, like i think it's because me, it's been two over years, two or three years ago like it would be all the, the me two or three years ago will be all over these like this season with the harem show. I like, think it's because the service yeah. shows we've been having lately. What? Yeah, I think it's because no, it's I'm, just like, oh, I'm, going, I'm just going to say this, Grant. I know it may seem like from the poster, it may seem like a, a harem show, but Grand Blue is not a harem show. I don't. Wait. I didn't. I didn't know. I. I don't think. Well, I, mean, I thought Grand Blue was a diving show, so I. Didn't, I didn't think it was. Yeah, it's, it's about diving. Oh. What's this diving you're talking about? Uh, I don't know. I don't recall any diving in Grand Blue. If they go diving in an episode, it's a miracle. <laughs> hey, hey, um, okay. So is it like the like, 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 uh, where like they're supposed to about be about singing, but they only sing like two in two episodes? That's, oh, wow. that's, 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 that's what makes it so funny. They're a diving club and they barely go diving. <laughs> Oh, but I, okay, I, 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 if you said if, if said Grand Blue was a tennis show, I would one hundred percent be behind that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's coming, um, incoming te incoming tennis titan. Uh, uh, is anyone uh, else watching cells at work though? I am. Is anyone else here watching cells at work? Red, yeah, cells at work. Red blood cell. It, Red Blood Cell is wiper for life, that dude. Jones, the anime is great. Osmosis oh, so, Jones, yeah. the anime. Oh, man, I knew <laughs> That's so. literally what it is, though. Except I, it, no, it's not. Am because I there's another... Yeah, there is one other show back in the, like, 80s and 90s that had something like this as well. It was a cartoon. Like, it was, like, called... Oh, what was it called again? It was, like, called life or something like that like something explains life i don't know but it, it's it reminds me of that more than hmm. osmos osmosis jones oh all, 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 all by the way oliver you said red blood cells best girl did you, if you say platelets i'm if you say i don't know man you got you got macrophage you got nk nk cell i don't um, know I, can i just say um Lars on La Game Server, we've got this uh, this game set up called like you, you collect waifus and, and husbos, okay. and uh, 
Yeah, so like like you you click on like uh, like the dollar sign W and like a r random selection of uh, anime girls will come up. Yeah, and you like you know and you, and you, you click the heart and like you you collect them. This what um La Games got. Platelet. He got a plate. Platelet. <laughs> He got a plate. Was he secretly enjoying him. himself that he got that? Because that sounds like he, he, he was. He <laughs> was. was he, enjoying, enjoying, he got a plate. He got. Yeah. I'm sorry, but if you a, if you a, put his plate and as as a waifu material, you need to go to jail. Uh, yes, you, like, whoever, whoever you was like, really oh, oh, some of your wife you was platelet. You can't put me in jail for something that's in my own body. Uh, uh, <laughs> you underestimate <laughs> my power. <laughs> okay. 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 Open up. Okay. <laughs> open Do not allow. Sir, it's in me. That's the set. That's the bad part. Are you telling me I can't lick my own wounds? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh my. Sir, oh my god. Sir, that one thing you just did just looted 80,000 platelets. You need to get... <laughs> You're going to jail yeah, for man. life. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, Koi, you were saying who was best girl in, in Cell at Work. Who was it then? Uh, I'm I'm debated between Macrophage and uh, NK Cell. Oh, okay, so NK Cell? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that too. She's great. <laughs> She's a bad. I need to look her up. I, I need to look her up. I personally. Name A E three eight R three. I personally. <laughs> That's like her name. I personally like. A Cynophil, the one that can kill parasites. That's my personal. Oh yeah, she's. Also, memory. I I just find it so hilarious that there's a memory cell and an NK cell. Yeah, that. <laughs> that is, <laughs> oh, that is great. That is great. <laughs> That's the real, the real reason how memory NK got is. Yep. <laughs> I just okay. I just I just, I just like realized that the memory cell in there, and I'm just, I'm just okay, like, uh, wow. I, I just I just looked <laughs> I just up looked up NK cell and just looking at her design. Yeah, she's. She, yeah. She can, she oh can, she wow! Can, she nice. can beat me up. I mean. Uh... <laughs> She can kill my cells up. Yeah, yeah, she can kill. Yeah. She's a uh, fucking tomboy. What, well, that's all I need. That's all I need. That's all that's needed. Baby. Yeah, for Just, those of you guys who don't know, Matt, <laughs> Mom is a, a tomboy freak. Oh, um, yeah, tomboy girls are really. I mean, I'm, 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 uh, I'm indifferent. I'm, like, it's fifty-fifty with me. I mean, it depends on the kind. Uh character the character they are i mean i don't like if it's one that has that sort of you know a sort of personality that can i can really take like that doesn't you know have something that is really off-putting doesn't go dry as with as the as a certain show goes on yeah then then i would like that i would come to like that sort of character. well but yeah i depends. mean if they're a bland character you i mean I, I don't care who you are whether you're it's a tomboy or not if you're a bland character you're a bland character i don't like I like you. I prefer tomboys, and if they have a good personality, then pluses in my book. Same with me with black-haired girls, long black hair. Oh, but she has um, short black hair. And so, okay. gentlemen, gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, I have to ask: Did any of you? Do any of you like beach volleyball? Are we talking about Harukana? Oh, Harukana, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Harukana receive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've watched that. Yeah, um, I played beach volleyball maybe twice, and it was actually pretty fun. Do you, let me guess. Uh, you watch it for the plot. Watch it for the beach volleyball. Yeah. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it's, it's like, dude. I swear, every episode opens up with their hands behind their asses, giving a signal to the person. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Oh. All right, and okay, bookmark, okay. plan to watch, uh, favorite, and. <laughs> Dude, oh yeah. Bro. Uh... <laughs> no. yeah. Okay, okay. Personally, okay. Personally, um, personally, it was for how for me and how can receive. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I really, I really wasn't able to enjoy because the character interactions just felt off, awkward at times. Just like, what did the pot? What's this, this long ass pauses here and there? It just 
it feels like it, I just want to feel like there's a lot going on, but it just feels like not much is going on to where it's exciting. Although it is kind of fun to see, you know, what they do during what they do during the actual matches. And uh, but I but the thing what I found out with the fan service, the fan service doesn't try to uh, doesn't doesn't try to go up its way to present itself. It it just it just show it just pre- it just presents itself right then and there when when the you know the situation like occurs like when they're using the well, it's when it's they're in the most well, serious, when they're in the stuff like that. This is beach volleyball, so like you have to expect fan service on that yeah. regard because it's on a beach. Like, what do you expect them to wear? Do you expect if they were naked? <laughs> Every episode's naked. a beach episode. You gotta love it. <laughs> yeah. Every episode. Well, yeah. It's just like everyone's talking about beach episodes. Uh, uh, the, the that the beach episode. How kind of received is just beach episode. That's it. Yeah, and, it's just and, and, and just, to, just to break the status quo, they're gonna have the oh wow, it's the clothes episode where they're all in regular clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Boring. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, oh man. Ch- what do you think was the most craziest show this season, though? Like, not oh, show. Like, did you uh, watch that? You thought from, was like this is insane. From what I okay, so from uh, what I personally seen part. probably Chio. Oh yeah, Chio School Road is. Wild. Yeah, but I, I think uh, a lot of people might say uh, okay. Asobi, Asobi, Asobi. I don't know about oh, you. I'm guys. watching that, dude. That show is. Oh my god, I, I haven't finished it yet. I I didn't like I didn't like the humor in that show. I must admit, so I gave that a dude, bit. Of, like, I, I guess la- the humor for me it wasn't for me. I think I've laughed my ass off like in almost every episode of that show. <laughs> I, I tell you like, what, the, show... the most recent episode I watched, there was a. The freaking girl had a robot made of her. That's right. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that part. Oh my god. Yeah, that was so funny because it had it, it used the same kind of Hi. speech patterns How the grandfather doing? used. <laughs> See, I, I've, I've like, been seeing a bunch of memes about it. I've been seeing I've been seeing memes about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to watch this. And yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, in memory. terms, yeah, it looks yeah. crazy. Memory, memory, like that. Also, be also based. The first kind of six episodes, I didn't. I, I at first I really didn't didn't like it that much. But as the series went on, I, I just it just kind of felt a little bit more just like you know what, it's 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 kind of it's, it's kind of how it it is. It's it's like I have to accept it, and it got more enjoyable after that. And yeah, yeah. episode nine was definitely the funniest for me. I mean, if you saw my reaction to it. When she started talking, I was I was just opening my mouth and like, ah, oh, what the hell? I was just like, and no matter what oh, the bot know. was saying, no matter how effed up it was or like perverted, they don't like, even know. The one, yeah, the one, know. yeah, and the one girl was just like, that's so awesome. It actually does sound like her. <laughs> <laughs> like no matter what it was saying, yeah, that was so. Funny. Oh, man. that show is hilarious. For me, the for this season, for me, the show that was so over the top that I couldn't help but love it. As much as I could, anyway, was Johnson Chan Dropkick. Okay, yeah, yes, I, did yes. any of you watch that? Okay, actually, that 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 show just. I, that that thing didn't even have a storyline. That thing didn't have a storyline whatsoever. I was reading that the manga. I was reading the manga, and it seemed like it was all over the place. It didn't, but it, I mean, honestly, just from what the synopsis said, I didn't expect it to be anything plot heavy at all. It's basically. Yeah. Uh, diet version of Gabriel Dropout, if you think. Yeah, that. it is. It seems like a mixture between Gabriel Dropout, um, uh, Aid, and something else. <laughs> Here's the thing about Josh and Josh, Josh and G, yeah, Josh and 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 like, okay, I know it's about, like, this witch whatever and then there's this demon snake girl they're trying to kill each other but then on the first like on the on the first episode they introduced they we got like three other three other girls there three other main characters and i'm with no explanation whatsoever like no backstory on how they met or like no introduction we we do we do actually meet how we do find out how they all met later on oh okay well but how are you gonna start the first episode with that like yeah. Why, why? I, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of with you on that choir. Like, can I speak? Like, um, it, but it's not only that. I mean, for me, when it came to the dark comedy, like, 
it don't get me wrong like the reason why i didn't like it is because like i face palm so hard at every freaking act of stupidity that justin does it was just like oh for the love of pete don't do this don't for, don't freaking do this and what's even worse it reminds us if we have experienced that of our own mistakes so it hurts even worse so don't get me wrong about that like he sh her stuff her her situation with it is like well, many times worse so it was just like oh don't do it don't do it and she does it and it's like oh god yeah you deserve to be fine <laughs> it was it was that kind of serious you deserve to be <laughs> gutted like a fish yeah i did like the the i mean there there were times when she wasn't such a dude when she wasn't such a jerk so there were times where she actually did did shit right so those are the episodes that i did those are the segments that i did like so other than that, I, mean, I I can't really say for I can't really say I I, I really thought thought that thought that series was good. I didn't. Yeah, I, didn't I consider it just good as well. It's just plain good. I mean, in terms of like just pure yeah. craziness, from what I've read, I still think Backstreet Girls like has the craziest plot. I don't. I have heard nobody watching. Still watching. Yeah. I was yeah, gonna I, watch it, but the subs the sub releases are just it was really just bad. Like, so inconsistent. I totally like, skipped that. Not, you know, I did. I I didn't last. I didn't last um I didn't last more than ten minutes into this. Ooh, yeah. and in fact, I'm just I'm just looking at the uh the ratings for Backstreet Girls and uh, Justin Chan Dropkick. Justin Chan Dropkick has a higher rating. Yeah, six point five oh, wow. to uh, six Yeah. Although the Ragnarok, uh, I thought one people were gonna. Say, a, I thought some of you guys were gonna say, uh, especially Kawhi, because I think he watches it. Uh, Happy Sugar Life. I thought he was gonna say that. Oh, I've heard actually good things about that. I've actually heard good things about that. Well, I haven't watched any of it, but from what I've heard, it's pretty, like... It's crazy, crazy. yeah, it's oh, crazy. It's fucked up. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fucked twisted. up kind of crazy. It's twisted. Yeah. I'm, I'm just... Okay, I'm just gonna say this. I don't want to make the comparison to the stuff from Future Diary and Higurashi, but oh, shit, really? what I saw yes. in there... Struck me, struck me as more disturbing than the stuff that I saw in the aforementioned shows that I, that oh, I saw. Especially like, when all the, with all the when sex, you, especially when you have see, things like pedophilia, domestic abuse, um, oh, oh, sexual yeah. assault. Yeah, I've heard pretty, it's oh, yeah. pretty brutal. Is it worse like, than that one show from, what was it, the spring, where uh, that oh, girl was getting out. beat by her own brother? Oh, no. Uh, Wait, which one? Wait, Maho, which one? Maho Shoujo Sight, that one. Oh, oh that's that... I dropped, I dropped, I dropped it. Dude, dropped that it. one was so hard to watch for me, bro, because, like, the like the brother is, like, beating on his own sister and shit. I was like, what is yeah, this? Yeah, that, 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 that. That shit was just, like, next level of cringe. Mm -hmm. that like... Dude, like, I was literally, like, sitting here, like, holding my, like, squeezing my fist, like, watching that show. I was like, what am I watching right now? Yeah, Jeez. the first episode was real, of, of that show was really fucked up. Yeah. I... I dropped. I dropped after five. It's the thing is, it's how does not it like compare to? It's not, it's not like I couldn't take the. It's not like I'm not. Like, I'm not gonna be used to the sort of, you know, the how fucked up it is. The, the what the problem is, I I didn't have more. It's just that I had more of a problem with the main with the main characters and the other supporting characters. Like the characters just don't don't feel like some somebody I can like like. I can't if I can't like any particular characters in the show, I'm not gonna enjoy it and I'm not gonna like it and I'm not gonna think it's, it's mm -hmm. good. Because for for a, like a story, like it doesn't matter how sto a good a story is, it needs to have characters you can relate to, you can like. But here with Mario Shoujo Sight, it is just it it is just like just forcing the sort of you know the fucked up thing, like what Memory said with the brother beating up the uh, the main character who is who is his sister, like that. That's just it, and the and the fact that the main character doesn't even make herself likable that she's wimping out for like most of the show, it, it just never really, it just never really. I can uh, I can see I why you would dislike that. I, I, like, mean, I, I was asking like, how does that compare to the like Happy Sugar Life? Is it's it, not, it's not Happy Sugar Life. It's light. I I would say it's like lightly less graphic, but okay. like I think, I think it's it focuses more, more on like the the twisted mentality. Of these characters, like okay, think yeah, that and that's actually one thing I really like about that show is like the, how they how they visualize how they display like their these twisted ass characters like way of thinking. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. That you know, it was a more it was for for me it was a more the concept the the concept of that story was more ple was more like uh, appealing to me than what Maho Shoujo site did because Maho Shoujo site tried to be tried to be too edgy and it just neglected everything else in my opinion. Yeah, like, I agree even, with that. From what I watch, it was just trying to be edgy, some edgy shit. Like, don't get me wrong, I might try, I might try to, you know, what, like, after some time passed, I might, might tro go back to complete, like, there'll be some dropped shows that I'll try to go back to watch shit, but then there'll be some of those shows that I do, I know I'm never gonna go back to watch it, because it's so bad. Um, have you all heard of Bo Blood of Wars, right? Bloody Wars, yeah, right? I've, I've, I've heard of it. Bloody Wars, mate. Oh, no, I'm I'm not 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 Unfor yeah, on Fort, because I dropped it on the first episode. I'm just like, what this? What is this stupid? What is this stupidity they're, they're trying to show us with this man? Like, okay, so you have them doing some stupid shit, like some wrong thing. They get caught. And all of a sudden, they're just forcing this stuff, like, and they're just mentioning about, I, I don't even vampire, whatever the hell it is. It's just like, I'm just like, oh great. Toss the uh, toss my toss my fucking like uh, iPad across the table. I'm just like, nah, I'm dropping this shit. <laughs> That's how bad it was. And uh, there was one that I actually kind of regret, sort of you know, completing. But at least I'm just like, you know what? I just wrote off the resume. I, I forgot. I forgot the name of of it though. I, I it, it hasn't come. Describe up what it was um, about. Huh? Describe what it was about. Yeah. Uh. No. It was a. It was. A, it was this one uh, sort of. Uh, it was a guy. It was a. It was a guy. I think it was called. Uh, uh, oh, the, the the main girl. The main the main heroine was her. Her her name was Lucy Flucy or some or some. Oh, taboo oh, tattoo. Oh, taboo tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Top, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> that that was and that was so. That was so like the the anesthetic. That was so unesthetic, uh, like inesthetic, man. It's, it's, the it's, action it's, is uh, really what kept me in the series. Yeah, I, I, the I, I, I really like the action. Like on, on, on good, on par. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I love the, the action. action, but the characters, uh, I mean, besides the fan service with them, I mean, <laughs> there's really nothing I mean, to them. I mean, okay, personally, I like I, I like I sometimes I can like I do enjoy shows, but I still can be critical when it comes to everything else, like. For me, it, it it's more on the it's more on the char the characters, the enjoyability, the likability of of them, and like if the story if the story makes sense or not. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. I'm more biased toward that like than than every than most everything else. I mean, Adam. I mean, they matter too, but characters to me matter most. If characters can't make themselves like, well, I've mentioned this a time and time again. Like if they can't make themselves likable, or they can't have some sort of good development to where, oh, you you would actually start to respect them or at at, at a certain degree, then then this then the show for me is just it just doesn't it just doesn't come off to me as good. It just feels like uh, it just feels yeah, that's uh, weird. that's how I feel as well. It's like for me, it's like if I don't like the main character, I'm not gonna enjoy the rest of the show. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I dropped like a that's why I dropped like a few harem anime because just because of the main character. Like, I know like, people say when it comes to harem anime, it's like, oh, it's all, it's not about the main character. It's all about the girls. And I'm like, no, no, you, the main character has to be like, well, too. And... Well, it's a problem. It's a problem for me if none of the girls become likable. Then it's like, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. And also, and, and also that's, that's, probably, that's another reason why I didn't really watch My Hero Academia beyond the first season. Which is funny, though, because he gets, he gets a lot better. Like Deku becomes well, a lot got, better. I know, I know, but like, uh, I mean, Deku, like when, like, he, he kind of just like. Honestly, well, yeah, the side characters scary. also definitely carry the show as well. The side characters are much are definitely carry the show as well. The thing is, the first season wasn't that wasn't wasn't really that great. Although yeah. the the second season and the third season had a better pacing, better like sort of you know development for not just the main character but for the side characters what i what i what i appreciated about my hero academia i don't think I, okay personally i don't think my hero academia is among the best shows it's the best shows ever but it the, it does something that i really like to where they actually give a lot, quite a bit of 
quite a good amount of attention shine on the on the other characters, not just Deku, not just Bakugo, not just All Might, not just Todoroki. All those they, they they give those as well, and 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 a good sort of development too. I mean, and they have good really focus on the about. villains too. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, they, that's yeah. something I really like as well. Yeah, like you, like I, I like that with My Hero Academia. How I like. Like it, it's like obviously it's like the hero villain typical kind of story, but like it actually goes into like society and how like how uh, it is, especially like the whole thing with All Might, like him like being the number one hero, and then the gap between him and the second hero, and how like I don't really want to spoil it, but like say like oh All Might, if All Might wasn't the number one hero again, like how would society you know take that because he's been the number one for so long. He, you know, we've always had All Might, and then when he's gone, it just, like, causes this whole kind of shitstorm almost to where just all these villains are popping up out of nowhere. There's this crazy surge oh, yeah. of them. You know, it's just, you know, it's, I, I like, so I like how they go, you know, into that with it. Just, like, how, like, society views heroes and, and villains and all that. Mm-hmm. So, which, I mean, I, I kind of agree with you guys. Like, what, you know, season one of My Hero, it was, like, hyped up so much, and it wasn't, like... It wasn't anything like too special for me, but second season, um, especially what they did with with Todoroki in uh, in Deku, oh, um, that part in that good. season, yeah, and that and especially Todoroki, because like that's when like Todoroki like really really started growing on me was the second season, and uh, like I, I like I I mean for me it's just progressively got better with My Hero Academia, like season one in the beginning of season two, end of season two, you know, it's just been like progressively getting better for me. So the I thing, mean I think that's what you want though with like a you know a, a story in general what, what you know whether it's a shonen or not like well I would say for most shon- like long running shonens you you want a the slow build yeah you want the slow build you want it to ideally to progressively get better now obviously that doesn't always happen but like as the characters grow as they you know uh, more obstacles encounter more people you know learn new lessons you you know grow older obviously like you want the you want them to progress you want to hopefully you know enjoy the story more as it uh progresses it's kind of like, with, kind of like with hunter x hunter when you think about it yeah yeah i mean yeah and that's like that's what i think my hero my hero academia does uh pretty well and you know i'm i've been enjoying it just each season as it goes along more and more so uh can we uh okay so well, oh, there is one I wanted to ask you guys about if you watch because I I haven't heard anybody talk about this. I don't know if uh you've watched it uh Rio, but it's called Miss Caretaker of Suno uh Sunohara. Oh, so, yeah, that, I've watched I've been I've been tweeting I about didn't, it. I missed that one. I didn't see that. I I have it. I I I'll be honest. I haven't Okay, I've... well, let me just say this. It like it's not like a borderline hentai, but it's like it like I would just say it appeals to people who like um like Shota like dojins and shit and like hentai oh, because oh, the main I character it, the main character pre- is this little Shota who who looks like a girl. Yeah, yeah. And he has like the the caretaker is literally this big tittied like mill no. pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I'm lo- I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> it's like his mom figure. And 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 he With has like outfits? There's like the there's like the lowly like high school girl. There's like the um. There's the gay couple. Yeah, the gay the gay oh, couple. Cool. The M the one girl who's an M. There's uh. All right, I'm, adding, I'm adding this to my list. All right, hold yeah, on. Dude, <laughs> dude, I'm just gonna put this picture in the chat right now. Look at the tan lines on this girl. Look wait, what? Oh, tan wait. lines? Are you? Oh wait. no, no. Wait, no. did I get blocked? Did it block it? No, it shouldn't. No, but no, it shouldn't. Wait, oh, I might have blocked. Wait, which one? Should have blocked it. It's on Discord. Oh, it says it blocked it because it seems to be explicit. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> well, she's not naked or anything, so no. I don't know why. But wait, wait, no, no Robin, yeah, I didn't know you, you put parental controls on this server. I, I, no, no, I, no I, I, not... I really, this is this is just a direct message. I, I have no control over this. Are it you says kidding? One if of I the... ever put parental controls, you take me to the back of the woods and shoot me in the face. If I ever put parental controls on anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. Maybe maybe I can maybe I can link the tweet real quick. But there's dude like okay, yeah. it's it's literally just like if if uh, it's definitely going for that kind of appeal though, like trying to 
appeal to people who like uh like showed up like showed a shit yeah but I, like see, oh, here, I, me... I didn't really think about it. i honestly wouldn't have thought about that because um it, it just says it's a slice of life all right click the link <sighs> damn i i linked it in here but but yeah like um yeah there's there's quite a bit of yeah like there's a lot of fan service like there's always these scenes oh, where oh my god there's like the the girls will be like whispering in like his ear especially the girl i just linked to you guys oh my her name's god. nana she like her tan lines are fucking crazy dude but like <laughs> but like she's always whispering in his ear like oh are you gonna like do it with me tonight like it's just like the most like, like oh, my god. oh wow and nobody like oh. nobody's like talked about it so <laughs> if like well, well, you're talking well, about well, it now. Well, We'd all prefer Santa to look like that. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, there's there's tons of fan service. They like they they know who they're trying to appeal to pretty much in that show. I was wondering if any of you guys have watched it though. Because well, I feel like now. I've only yeah. watched I mean, I'm, actually, so I'm actually didn't... waiting I'm actually gonna wait until like the whole the episode all the episodes are has it finished airing yet? Yeah, it's over. Okay, I just so finished I'm probably, it last so night. I'm probably actually. Gonna, so I'm probably just gonna binge watch it on my own my, my own time. I, yeah, it's like I, probably I, my guilty pleasure of the season, honestly. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. So, speaking of guilty pleasures, how many people are caught up with uh, Yuragi Sono Yunasan? Or have are I'm, not, I'm not watching it. I'm waiting for the Blu rays. Oh, okay, I'm waiting fair, for the enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I only, <laughs> only watched the only first episode. episode. I'm good. I gotta say this I'm going to re watch it when the Blu rays come out. Yes. Oh, oh, one same. It's one of the first, yeah. it's gonna be one of the first shows I'm actually planning on re watching. That's like, that's like, uh, I just, like, I was gonna watch it and then rewatch it, but I'm just like, dude, I'm not gonna be able to deal with the, with the beaming lights, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, as, as, as that, someone who has read the manga, like, from the be very beginning, it, 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 it was like that in the manga, except they use a lot more smoke clouds more than anything. So, yeah, um, like, I'm going to... Dude, I was like, gonna, I can't oh, watch all these episodes, like, how the OVA is, then I'm not... You know, because yeah. OVA obviously is uncensored and yeah. all that. I was like, if I can't oh. watch this whole series, like, how that OVA was, then I'm just going to wait for the Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Which no, in Japan, how they do it, how they do it in Japan is, like, one or two episodes at a time. So, like, it'll yeah. be easy to keep up with. Yeah. Yeah. Thing I want to know is, is the thing... score for, the, sorry, the score for, um, yeah, go ahead. I'm just saying, Kobayashi, Kobayashi's, uh, Kobayashi's uh, punches are comparable to Saitama, one way or another. Oh, Kogarashi, like, Kogarashi. 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 Like, Kobayashi, are we talking one, about Dragon Maids? Because I'm down. Yeah, that's what I thought at first. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, there could have been a, okay, there could have been a dragon, there could have been a Dragon Maid in this, in uh, your episode of Yuri but they don't, and I'm kind of sad. No, but no. they have, they have a lot more <laughs> other girls in there. Girl, that's right. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the the question the question I want to know is that at the moment I'm looking because I'm on the uh on its uh mail page at the moment the score for uh Yuna is seven the seven seven point double o. Wait, what's the chances of that going? Yeah, the score for it is seven point zero zero. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's um, like decent, I guess. That's decent. That is. So I'm. I mean, the thing I want to know is that as soon as the good. the Blu-ray. The, as soon as the Blu-rays come up, uh, come out, do you think that score is going to go up? It's going to shoot up. 9.99! <laughs> Best anime! Greatest of all time! The GOAT! Oh, um, oh. I mean, I, oh, yeah, I, speaking of that, that you're like guilty pleasure? That's like your guilty pleasure? See, I, I, read the, I read the manga, yeah, so I'm like super far ahead. Oh, okay. okay. Like, I, so and I know okay. everything that's going what, on. Raman has been wanting to know what my best girl is for this show because for ages I, now because i know I'm... i know who was best girl and if you don't say who it is uh, we, we might have to reconsider our friendship because there is only one. Alert, ramen, likes, <laughs> ramen likes cat cat girl no they actually i thought cat. i honestly thought i was i i first thought i was gonna like her the most but then naturally no there are much better side characters I thought you were going to say, uh, um, Yes! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Okay, we're friends. We're still good. We're good. We're good. Because, yes, yeah, she's the best girl. Out, like, by far. There's only one other Was one. Was that better. a character shown in the OVA? Because I, I, no. I don't think. No, I, I think um, I only remember the. Uh, no, 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 she's, not, she's not in the OVA. No, she's not in the OVA. Oh, the OVA shows um, the cat girl, Yaya, uh, Nanko, which is the big boobed 
uh, drunk drunk girl, <laughs> and then you yeah. have, and then and then Sagari, the uh, ninja girl, who is she, she's actually uh, really good, and she's totally not a Cinderella. <laughs> yeah, I mean, after my after just going off of the OVA, I'd probably say just I haven't watched anything else, but probably Yaya or Sagiri would be one of my two picks. Just just off the OVA uh, though. Funny me, thing is, memory, I know you haven't watched. Yeah, sorry, I was gonna say, memory. I know you haven't seen uh, seen Yuna yet, but the the um one of the first lines of Boro tells uh, Karashi. Can I say it again? Sorry, Karashi Kogarashi. is. I want to put. Uh, it's pretty much. I can't exactly remember the, the exact line, but it's something along the lines of, "I want to bear your children." <laughs> wow. Uh, it's because Kog- no, okay, it's not really spoiler, but like he's really strong, and that's what like so he's like, I want the strongest children, so we need to bang. I'm like, best Damn. girl, best girl. I mean, <laughs> she okay, like, she like oh, when you see her oh, when she oh, says oh, that oh, she's oh, naked, oh, completely and utterly naked. Oh yeah, when she says that. Yes. Yeah, and she was ready, right? Oh, right. oh yeah. Wait, <laughs> you talk, you talk. Okay, you talk about Oboro, right? Okay, so this is a okay. This is the fucked up thing with her. In my thumbnail, in one of my video, in one of my reaction videos. <laughs> so apparently, YouTube took down that thumbnail because of because it showed her naked. <laughs> <laughs> That's happened to me so many times for, uh, especially high school DXD. Oh, oh, yeah. And I got so, and I got so mad, and I got so mad. I'm like, I'm like, YouTube, are you kidding me? You cracker, bitch, motherfucker. I was so, I was so mad. Like, that was like the best thumbnail. For that for that particular episode, and you just fucking delete it. Like, how yeah. dare you? And funny thing is, <laughs> if you think Obero's good now, she becomes so much better later on. Although, granted, she's not the best because they introduce another girl who's a delinquent and she's badass and she can beat me up. And uh, anyway, uh, she is definitely <laughs> the best girl. <laughs> but no, me and Lara. Are we going into Roman's BDSM list right now? I don't are we? Know. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I believe the fifth. Yeah, I think, I think it's already confirmed that Ramen is an M. Listen, there is, is, no, there is the nothing moment. masochist about wanting to be beaten, tied down, humiliated. I mean, uh, uh, there's nothing. <laughs> I, rest, I think I rest my point. <laughs> Wait, pause. What? Just because I want a girl to get a chair to slap me across the face with it multiple times, that is nothing. <laughs> Oh, ramen reviews, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the, yeah. Who needs exactly. reactions when he can have a guy yeah. just like, oh my god, she has short hair and tan lines, beat me up. I mean, <laughs> that's quality content oh, right there. <laughs> oh, man. Is that, uh, where, is that where, Ramen, is that where your channel is heading right now? You're going to become a BDSM anime um, channel. Pretty soon it's going to be like, Ramen's going to, Ramen's going to make a video like, top 10 girls that can... Top ten anime girls that can kick my ass. I'm honestly surprised he hasn't actually made that. Top ten girls that can send me to the grave. (laughs) Top ten girls that can step on me any day. Oh my! Why am I doing this? I need to stop because now I'm writing down ideas. All right, number one is definitely gonna be this one from this anime series. Number two is. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Uh, All right. Coming soon, everyone. Coming soon, Ramen. He's going to do a video on his top 10 ladies that can beat him up. See you in the next couple of days. I I took a a page out of Spike Spiegel's book. He even says, I love a woman that can kick my ass. That is so true. Oh, yeah. That that is great. That's a great, that is a great line. That is a great line. For example, Um, Bowsette, she can beat the shit out of me. Can we... (laughs) So, so we, so we uh, move on to the full anime now, or so we, are we done uh, with... Wait, oh yeah, hold on. Uh, maybe we should else? talk about like our favorites. Yeah, go for it, go for it. From the summer season, like maybe our favorites, our biggest surprises, our disappointments, all that all that oh, stuff. Well, Quarry Crew's favorite anime of all of us of summer was clearly Island. Wait, 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 what, what'd you say? What did you say again? Which one's your... Your favorite big surprise and disappointment was it again? His favorite was Island. Uh, for Cro- for, for Cry Crew, it was Island. It no, was, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. It, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm 100% kidding. I have no idea what his favorite is. Okay, well, my, my top three, in no particular order. Um, Overlord, season three. Uh, mm-hmm. Chill, School Road, and the Banana Fish. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, we doing sequels included, or does it not really matter? Sequels can be. Yeah, we can do. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, yeah. Old Park as long, yeah, that, that yeah, as, long as, as long as it started in like, for example, yeah, you can't really okay. count. You can't really count um My Hero Academia because it started in spring. I mean, okay, you could okay. if you or wanted Stein's to. Great. Yes. Oh yeah, that's right. Stein's Gate. Yeah. Okay. I mean, um, even though it's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We. we yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna list my my favorite, my biggest surprise, and my biggest disappointment. Okay. It's a busy biggest disappointment does will not does not necessarily mean the worst because I already know something is bad. Um, favorite would have to be favorite would uh. I'll be right I'm back. Not gonna lie. Okay. Not gonna not gonna lie. Um, my favorite would have my favorite is either between. I personally like Sakasu no Tenshi, but I also it's either that or banana or or banana fish. Because, um, like, don't get me wrong. There are other series that are, are that are pretty good. That are pretty good, but this one is a. But it's either between those two. I mean, Sakusu no Tenchi is a kind of a. Pers- I'm a little biased on it because I like the kind of you know what it what the kind of, the the kind of aesthetic was trying the like concept was trying to display. Yeah. Um. Biggest uh, surprise. Biggest surprise would have mm. to be. Um, this is a series that you might not have heard, that some of you guys might not have heard. Um, it's Shoko Kangaki Veggie Starlight. It's an interesting yeah, I've, heard, I've heard of it. I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching it. I'm, I'm not caught yeah, up, was... but I'm like two episodes behind or something like that. What What do you think about it, Memory? Um, I was, I was, I'm honestly probably with you. I wouldn't say it's like my biggest surprise, but it definitely surprised me because I wasn't even going to watch it. And everyone was like freaking out about the first episode. So I was like, okay, I'm going to watch this. And, uh, okay. it's so- actually, it's actually pretty good. I, I, I think it's kind of, it like started off for me at least like really good. And then it's kind of like died down a little bit for me. It's just kind of like, oh. it's just kind of on like that neutral, like. Like oh, it's okay, okay yeah. like I guess. Like it's okay. Uh, like there's some episodes where, it... yeah, yeah. Like, like there's some episodes where it's you know start getting, like up there for me, kind of. But then, uh, it's it's just kind of like, uh, oh, like for me, it's not like anything too, like fantastic. But, um, oh, okay. it definitely surprised me because I didn't think I was going to uh, like it at all, honestly, because I wasn't gonna watch it from just like the the setup and the premise. And just like before the season even started, I was like, okay, there's a bunch of these girls. It looks like some kind of idol girls type of show. But I get into the show and I see the, these pl- like uh, it's like a play, and these girls are literally f- duking it out, like sword fighting each other. I'm like, whoa, what is happening here? Hmm. And uh, it's actually pretty well animated too. So uh, uh, yeah, that I would that that was definitely a surprise from the from the season for sure. Um, okay, so. So my biggest disappointment, well, if there was one, the biggest disappointment, I know it's a hit or it's the, the kind of thing it was. It's a hit or miss series. It's a visual novel adaptation. The series is called Island. And I don't even, oh, yes. and the way they yeah. went with it, the way they went with it, it didn't please me. It didn't please me at all. It just like the way it ended was even. Worse. It was so like, confusing, was so, though. Like, mad about it. Was, I, it was so confusing. Like half the time I reacted to Island, and half the time I was like going, "What the fuck is even going on?" Because here, they didn't here. explain anything. Same, same here, man. I was just like, I was just like, "What's it? What is it with this? With this time thing, and all that?" And there were times when they should have really made it focused on it, empathized it, and made it important. But they but no, we're just getting on to the character interactions, which are kinda awkward, honestly. Look, and I don't like I, how they did the segments of the other two other I hate, I, like, I I hate to go I had to go I had to go on a tangent with islands, but I'm going to have to because mainly because it sucked. Um, oh, I, I but, agree with you on that. It it sucked balls. Um, it's not the worst but it's it Yeah, like Oh were you gonna say something? Like Setsuna goes back in time. Yeah, Setsuna comes back in t- goes back in time. Like I'm just gonna spoil the whole thing. It's a time travel thing, time travel show. And he says, "Oh, I've got to kill someone." And it's like, "No, you don't." In the end, like, who? What was that all about? You didn't end oh, up killing yeah. anyone. 
Like, what the fuck was that about? Isn't it That's just weird? Isn't it? Isn't it just weird that the girl he like? All right, what did I miss? It, we're talking about Island. Talking right about now, we're, so. we're bidding oh, off Island at the perfect perfect time. Oh, Island. <laughs> but I was gonna say, like, isn't it just so like fucking weird that this guy was developing feelings and starting to, I guess you could say, love his own daughter, like yeah, it's, it's in a romantic oh way. I, 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 <laughs> in a romantic yeah. way. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, they tried to pull this thing where, like, oh, that's why, because I'm her father. <laughs> I, that's, why I was, I, that's why I was acting that way. I wasn't in love I, with her. I, I was just I fatherly was so love. I was so the fact that Cessna, like, does not, I was he so does not actually so react wrong. to that. I was so he does not even react to that. What was that? I was so what did you say, Oliver? Throw, uh, I was so tempted to throw a um, Star Wars reference in there when he said that i'm just like yeah, everyone, everyone was thinking that everyone was thinking was like did, were they trying to reference star I wars there but no rena i am your but father. but the thing is what i was trying to say is that when Cessna finds out that that is that is his daughter it was so plain and boring like you've been spending yeah, time yeah. in this yeah. girl throughout this entire this entire time and your reaction is just like pretty much it's just like meh like come on like you you almost slept with her like a few episodes beforehand yeah. react properly man hey oh, hey, hey guys one thing i want to say uh that sex scene oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah you that. literally see her on top of him, and then her like her whole body like shoots up, like when she's like starts moaning, and she her whole like yeah, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, like, like guys, there was, there was you, no audio. I think I found out. Yeah, there's there no, no audio, audio for that. But but the thing is, I actually found out that sex scene is not in the in the visual novel oh, at all. Oh, oh, no. oh wow, it's an anime, it's an anime exclusive scene. Well, Jeez. there's one redeeming part, but that's Man, it. Man, the studio, studio feel that. was thirsty as fuck. Look, the, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> look, there's only one thing I, I, one good thing I have to say about Island is that I, I think best girl was Karen. Karen was best girl oh, for no, me. Karen. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Karen was I best did, girl. Okay, so I, I didn't like how, I didn't like how they played, uh, Karen, like Karen's like. The part regarding her mom actually passing away, I was hoping, I was hoping there would be a more feelsy scene, but it just, it just finally like, how do you get over that so quickly? I just, I, that, that yeah. didn't sit well with me. It didn't sit, and uh, that kind of feeling did, did not, did not get you know cured of when I tried was, to go with that. It's a simple Paris. reason. The whole, the whole anime was rushed. Yeah, it was whole oh, rush. Yeah. Like oh. this should have been trend. Like also, this is something I did, did, I also didn't bring up. It's twelve episodes, and yet they thought it was wise to do two OPs. Yeah. Two Winter openings. Island. I was like, what? Winter, Winter Island. Island. It's like, what the? Winter Island. What the fuck? Wait, yeah, what? and never, then they did no, this weird never, thing. I, no, it's called Never Island. Or Never Island. Yeah, yeah never, never Island. Never Island. Never Island. Yeah. Never Island. Fucking cool. Neverland. Okay. It yeah, and then they, like, okay. made it seem like the series, like, started over, so they had, like, Never Island Episode 1. I was like, what? What did oh, they do? I was yeah. so confused. <laughs> and, 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 some, and suddenly someone Sarah has tits, and I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Are you serious? I want, I want, I don't, I don't, I, I, I fucking Sarah with tits. Nah, man, I, give me back my cute daughter, Sarah. I remember at oh, the beginning yeah. of the series, though, they said, remember there was something said about her having, like, a rack? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I remember oh, that. Wow. But I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Change. I, yeah, I don't remember much from from the show, but, um, yeah. Uh, that would, that would be my good. biggest disappointment, like, as well, because, like, I, didn't, I honestly didn't think I was going to, like, necessarily like it, like, a lot, but I didn't, like, I didn't, Think I was gonna like hate it as much as I did. Oh, I oh, I'll, memory. I'm pretty sure I hate. I come. I'm pretty sure I hate that uh, series more than you than you guys do. I that you know because you know why the problem wasn't even solved. The the, the time right. loop thing. I'm just like, are you? No, it me? wasn't even solved. It was just dropped. It was just forgotten about. Like, 
Are you are you are you shit are you shitting me with this? I yeah, I'm I'm gonna go. Are you shitting me with this with this damn conclusion? You don't solve anything. Like what are you gonna do about this time? You're gonna relive this shit over and over and over again. Like are you fucking kidding me, man? Oh, are you wait, are you talking about like how they like like after Never Island, like it was back to the old island and the explanation was that like it the time was like in a never Yeah, 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 that one. That That was that was like the most that was the dumbest thing. And then all of a sudden and at the very end of the episode, like he gets with future um future win. Or, yeah. And and then they just go get on a fucking boat and leave. Where are you going? <laughs> like, Where are you going? That's stupid. That is just that was that was a okay. Uh, oh god. The, the way and the fact that that and also the fact that that may not have been the real Setsuna. Remember the skeleton? <laughs> it's just like yeah. they didn't explain that the, either. They did not explain that either with the other Setsuna. That's what. I that's what. Yeah, the other <laughs> Setsuna. That was, that was. Um, he was in love with uh, daughter Rina, not, not daughter Rina. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. It's like, yeah, but they didn't explain that well either, which is, which is, which still doesn't help. It doesn't yeah, help yeah. with that. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do. Since we keep bringing it up, like with the whole uh, sex scene, I like how like it was in darkness and all that. Like they, they go like, oh. We, so we can have child death. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You can have violence. Oh, that's fine. Yep, yep. Now sex. No. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. So like I, I, I like honestly. I honestly like rewrite is so much better than island. Oh, definitely. Oh. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Honestly, like I wasn't the I biggest did... fan of rewrite, but I can say that. Okay. Like. Okay. Like, thanks. Especially the second season. I didn't yeah, say yeah, re- yeah. I haven't seen rewrite. I haven't seen it. Same I like here. The I, okay, more, I personally but this first season I couldn't really. Yeah, I, didn't really I personally like... did like re. I personally didn't like rewrite either, but I can say for a fact that it was way better than what Island uh, yeah, showcased. Yeah, hundred percent. And that's saying a lot for me. I've heard. I've on the bright side. I've heard that um, the visual novel of Island is a thousand times better. It usually. So. Or oh, it better be. It, it better usually. be. I mean, it was that was the case with Grisaya. Don't remind yes. me of for don't remind me of Fortune Art Rio. It's a really old series. Like the the I heard the the visual novel Fortune Art okay Art Real. It's a visual novel adaptation. Um like okay, so I'm I'm just gonna pull up the damn uh synopsis for this. I think uh I don't I don't know, like so it was a, it's a it's a rather old series, so there's, I think the only that. times where the anime is better than the visual novel adaptation is uh, Steinsgate and the Fate series. Oh, Steinsgate by far. Steinsgate by far. Yeah. So, uh, Fortune and Arth- <laughs> Arthro, so Fortune Arthro, it's a story that revolves around the main protagonist, Kohei Asakura, who transfers into prestigious public school in the style of an English six year school encompassing junior high and high school students. The students on an island named Tamatsu Island offshore from mainland Japan, and the only way to get there is by boat. And soon after transferring, he discovers that one of the students' class next door is, is, is to his, to him, uh, to, uh, Sendo Erika is in fact a type of vampire. Now I've watched the series, the anime adaptation. The way they went about with it, the romance that could have been there, it was never, it was like never there. I mean, the fact that, I mean, what it really, what it, there was no conclusion. It doesn't feel like anything was concluded. It was just a conflict here and there. None of the character, none of the other characters besides the main heroine was really touched upon as much. I mean, like there's still a, this ongoing, there's still that main vil- that main villainous sort of figure, that like back like behind the scenes kind of figure, that still doesn't get addressed. And then the the, the 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 show just ends off with them just all getting together and just her just handing out like it, it never dawned on to me. And the 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 OVA is just a beach episode. That's it. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. It is, it is dumb. Yeah, I'll be uh, right and, back. And the fact, and the fact that I heard the visual novel is very, like, that's one of the examples of a vi- of where, that's one of the many examples where a visual novel adaptation was trash, but the actual stuff was was a hundred times better. Like, the hundred, like, the visual novel source was, um, it was actually a head tie. A head tie in it. Ooh, okay. It is, right? Ooh. <laughs> it, I, it, it, it is it is arrow game. It is arrow game. Let's put it that way. <laughs> All, right, All right. So my biggest uh, or my favorite series. We um, 
I know Kawhi, you said three. I, I have four because I just couldn't leave one of these out. I have Banana Fish, mm -hmm. Overlord Season oh, yeah. 3, Attack on Titan Season 3. I mean, you talking yeah. about Attack on Titan Season 3, actually. Oh, wow. I could have I could have mentioned those as a favorite, but... Yeah, and then I, I have Grand Blue in there, too, because I just I love Grand Blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, like... I, I'm going to quickly say... Yes, I'm just going to quickly list off my favorites of this season. My favorite three were Isekai Mao, Grand Blue, and... Uh, Cells at work. Nice. I'd, I'd say Cells at work was was probably the biggest surprise for me. I did not. Uh, think yeah, I'll also include show... Cells as work as my, the biggest surprise for me. For I this did season. not think a show about like cells in the human body would be this entertaining and plus educational too. Like they they have done their bloody research on this. I've forgotten. I've learned more you know, about you know, this than high school biology. Oh, 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 oh by far, by far. It, there was some it, stuff on there it, that I did not learn in biology that I learned in while well, watching this anime. <laughs> like, I legit feel like I could take a like an anatomy course in college no, no, after no. watching this show. <laughs> with, with cells at work, with cells at work, you know you you've done a good job when even people, real scientists and doctors, have looked at this series. Yeah, you got doctors <laughs> on Reddit, and they've and they've and they've gone like. This is a hundred percent legit. Like they they're a hundred percent impressed with it. Like that's saying something. That really is saying wow. something when you have actual scientists going, This is fantastic. Like Yeah. Like Yeah, that's that's pretty impressive. Amazing. Uh what mm. was your like I what was your biggest sorry? so what was your biggest surprises and biggest disappoint disappointments, memory? Did you mention that? Hey, really? Um and me, I didn't really have that much of a disappointment if you, unless you say Island and um, uh, Ragnarok, uh, but no, but we already discussed those. But yeah, yeah besides I that, I had, I had I had no real disappointments. Otherwise, like Isekai Mao was fantastic, Grand Blue was fantastic, Seal at Work was fantastic, like, and yeah, Hanukkah I, Receive was fantastic. I would say uh, Islands my biggest disappointment um mm -hmm. i agree biggest with that. surprise biggest surprise i'd say i mean i i would like uh ryu said he he said uh rave you starlight i would say that mm -hmm. one or um let me see Ang uh, i don't know if any of you guys have watched Ang it's called angle moy angle oh, yeah record Anglemoy? of mongol I've heard of it. yeah it's pretty much like a it's it's pretty uh like it's a, it's a historical series that focuses on like the Mongols like invading Japan and all that. Uh, wait, like, yeah, like, I did spending... hear about one. Yeah, oh. it's yeah, I did hear about it. Yeah, it's uh, huh. Like I remember it got revealed or shown at like Anime Expo uh last year, and I was like, okay, this is one I'm like I'm gonna keep my eye out on, and I like nobody's really talked about it from this season, but I I actually kind of like it. It's pretty good. The other one that no one has talked about this season at all is there's actually quite a few, but another one that hasn't been talked about at all is High School Girl. High School Girl. Oh, oh yeah, is that the C that's the CG yeah. one, right? I oh. think it is a, the CG one, set in the nineties. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, well, how about have any of you guys watched Planet With? No. Planet I've heard I've of actually it, been, but I've actually it. been no, I've actually binge watched binged watched it uh today and i managed to finish it i call it guru light basically that's what What'd it you is say? i call it guru light like guru and then light guru like, light. Guru, like, uh, like you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. that's what it that's what it basically is now i personally kind of like I, I i am because because it does a lot of stuff with uh that can ref that Guru Logan did so I was kind of, that was a little bit critical of it because considering like how it because Guru Logan was one of, one of my favorite shows it was kind of a six uh six point five out of ten for me because it has the great sort of setups with with it but it's just like the, it's just the story feels kind of short the and the the you know the settings of it just feels like there could have been there could have been more to it. I mean, the action is pretty good, although the CG is something 50-50, depending on how you feel about CG. And, um, <laughs> but I just wish there was, like, it, I just wish the story could have been more deeper. Now, I've heard there was a manga adaptation of it, so. Yeah. There was that. To put the manga, the manga is, is known for, like, really weird, um, 
like really weird kind of stories. And the thing, the thing with Planet With is it, it, um, especially like some of the the beings that like show up on the water, like it's like it reminds me of Eva in a way because like with the angels. Cause oh like, yeah. Yeah, like because like in Planet With, I remember there was like, what was it? It was like a giant baby floating on the water, like moving inland, and. That <laughs> Yeah, and then there was like one scene where there's just like this giant pyramid on top of like just floating in the middle like it was just weird sometimes like with some of the stuff that would show up that they'd have to like uh they'd have to destroy or whatever before oh yeah, it, that's, like... oh yeah that oh yeah that's smoking some evangelion weed right there just... yeah like it, i feel like that definitely like came like it was inspired by eva but like Planet Anger. With is one that kind of surprised me. I know nobody's really talked about it because I saw Planet With, uh, like its manga score has been, or uh, not manga score, its uh, Mal score cool. has been like yeah. below a six for like most of the season, and now like it finished airing and it's almost it's like at a seven point five, which is pretty. It's going up. I didn't okay. expect, like it made a pretty significant jump. The thing so, is, is any is I think any, uh, is... Mother's Basement made a video on it too where he talked about it. Yeah, I, I saw that. that it, I, I can agree with that. It, it is kind of something worth... Like, I don't think it's it's really, really good, but it's something I think... I, I Even though, I, I, even though like I said, it was like 6.5 out of 10, that doesn't mean I didn't think it was good. It's just that it's not the great... It's not the... Ab, it's not an absolute sort of the great, great thing. It's just something that... Yeah, I'd I, agree that with I that. Personally just recommend, that I would just personally recommend if you like... It's basically if you love Guru Logan, if you like Abigailion, then here, here, here's one of these. If you like Gundam series, here. here. Oh, I don't know about Gundam series, though. I don't know. Yeah, about I don't know about Gundam, but yeah, like definitely really some, definitely something more like, like uh, kind of wacky, I guess you'd say, or like a unique idea or like unique kind of concepts. Because yeah. like Planet With definitely tries to do something a little different. <laughs> the thing so, yeah. like. I don't I don't know if I mentioned before, but the re the, the one of the reasons why I, I loved Guru Logan is one of the same reasons I loved Kill a Kill is that they made they took their style no matter how ridiculous it is, both shows. They no matter how ridiculous it is, they embraced it, they made it epic, and they actually did the characters well, in my opinion. Although I per, I'm a little biased for Kill a Kill because because like every show Every episode, there's always a, a really, a really hot fight. There's like, like almost every every episode, which is why I, I liked it. And the fact mm. that they they match the characters very well, well with it as well. I am a bit triggered. I am a bit like uh, uh bi biased for triggered, which is why I kind of like Little Witch Ag like Amadamia as well. Although the one thing we don't we need to kind of the one thing that most people don't know. With the with a lot of the shows that were really high rated that we've talked about, Trigger doesn't do them on their own. They're usually doing it with somebody else. Like with with Kids Not with uh, Kids Navier, Kill a Kill, with Little Witch Academia, Darling in the Franks. Uh, there's there's this actually, and uh, we we've heard of those shows, but we haven't heard of like they've actually done shows where they've done like have you anyone? Has, I haven't watched Inferno Cop, but I've heard that Inferno Cop was basically one of them, which they kind of do on your own they, kind of like they, uh, they did it they use a, their b team basically to make yeah it. they use like a side yeah. production of i of, think wasn't like, that the same thing with lulico the same thing with oh Lulico's. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, that, Lulico, yeah think, was... i'm almost positive yeah yeah because because yeah. uh the thing the thing is like we hear about trigger like with those with those kind of shows but we haven't heard that uh, well we never really know like that's mm -hmm. what they do in a collaboration with another stu with another studio in other shows, like the other shows, they do by themselves. They don't. Not much is really heard about about them. Like, they've actually done a series, a series when supernat, a series called when supernatural battles become commonplace. Uh, that's a series that a lot of people might not might not have might not hear of. I've heard of it. it. Oh yeah, it it was a it was pretty decent, but because but because it's based off a light novel and it's only twelve episodes. It's only just decent, and that was about that was about it. It was enjoyable, though. I've watched it, and it was pretty. It was it was enjoyable, not great, but enjoyable. Um, Hello. so I I just think. Oh wait, I think there's one more series, one more, a few things we haven't discussed. Like I know we've went on quite a bit about summer 2018, yeah. but there's 
maybe a few things I want to bring up. There is, yeah. there is, there is one that I thought was pretty good, and one that is just absolute worst. Um, there's okay. I'll start with a good one. Have you, has, I think memory has, has <laughs> followed this, although I think you kind of stopped on it. It was Tenvo series The Jaeger, oh, the yeah. anime original. Oh yeah, now. I'm I'm just behind on it. I gotta catch up. I'm still I'm watching. I'm only on it, like though. episode five. I think I'm on eight or something or seven. The thing is, the thing is, it is kind of generic, but then like it's not that bad, honestly. It's just what I just don't. Yeah. What I just kind of get a pet peeve about is that it is that it's because it's anime original. Anyway, I don't think we're gonna get more episodes than tw- more than twelve episodes. It, you just wish there could have been more to it because the kind of story it has, you know, with the art. With the arc of Sirius and all that, the fact that the bro- like, I really like the kind of brother, the the brotherly love between them too, and the fact that and the fact that it, it hurts to see that they have to they they were for that because of the situations they were on two different sides. Now yeah. it kind of just fell fell off for me in the final kind of episode because I really feel like they're just kind of just throwing it to, throwing it together for a finale finale though. But other than that, it's been quite a, a nice. Thing. It's not a big surprise, but it's a nice little surprise, though. Now, yeah, it's, it's kind of um, like PA works. They they usually don't do like action action shows like that. Like I know they have some, but um, like I mean, it's, it's kind of rare for them. They usually stick to the more like like slice of life romance comedy type of shows. Yeah. So I, I mean, mean, in that regard, I think I mean I I think it's they've done like okay job with. Which PA Works has been like shifting in that direction, like more in that direction, like Kuro Mukuro, uh, Kuro Mukuro, I think that's what it was called. Um, then this, like this one, I don't know if you guys have watched. It's called Kanan, Kanan, I think, C A N A A N. That's from that's. Heard of it? Yeah, that's like another one. So like, oh, PA Works canon. is starting to do like more of these action. Yeah, Canon. Yeah, they're starting to do more of these action shows. I I like that they're trying to like expand too, like with more like original stuff. Kane um, is actually really good, really good. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, unfortunate no one has really seen it much. Oh uh, yeah, like more people should watch. Um, now, I hopefully this is the last of what we want to wrap up with bad stuff. Has anyone tried to touch Lord of Vermilion? I haven't. No. Uh, uh, no, and I don't want to because I've heard terrible things about it. <laughs> for the sake, for the sake of it, for the sake of, I know, I, I know, I, I, okay, this is something I made a choice. Like, I'm watching this right now, and I'm just like, what the hell are you trying to throw to get, uh, throw together with this? <laughs> the MC is a, the MC is ass. Like, it's not just that. All the characters are ass, which is actually not that. Like, the, the concept. The, the the setting the stuff and all that is actually really really stupid is actually really, really stupid like you have to to save the world you have to destroy Tokyo what 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 so and the the fact that the, the overacting is ba- the overacting is bad the anim the animation the qual the animation quality is just cru- is just crud I it's comparable <laughs> to how bad Phantom in the Twilight is is, is although not as not uh, oh, Phantom and Twilight has a, a a little a slightly better sort of anesthetic, but not by much. It's that this that this show is off, and the fact that it's based off some sort of card game apparently, which actually triggers me because uh, I I I like the card game. I you know why we like I like a card game series. Like I'm I'm a kind of a biased fan of like most Yu-Gi-Oh fan like Yu-Gi-Oh series, which and uh, to hear any other like card game series adaptation. It, I I kind of I kind of I kind of scrutinize with it, and then I come up on this and find out it's a card game annotation, and you see, and I see what what the fuck's been presented to me. I'm just like, <laughs> this is this is awful. This stinks. Yeah, those those usually don't really end up too good. Like 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 card my... game and video like some video game adaptations are okay, but most of the time I just yeah. Like like come on like like people like the like it's. The card game when people think card game stuff, it's usually it's usually Yu-Gi-Oh and all that. So Yu-Gi-Oh like this gets a lot of it. But the thing is, you it doesn't even look like it's gonna the the Lord of a Million thing is even a card a card game adaptation. It, it's just something. It is just something that just ripped out of that uh, of that uh, sort of 
thing like all the whatever is displayed, like the char the characters, whatever it is, and you just place them into some stupid sort of set setup with the plot. It's it's not it's not very appeasing. It, it is awful. Mm -hmm. And the fact that the it starts with a flashback of everyone killing each other, or or some of a dream of everyone killing each other, and I'm just like, great, why, well, great, I know where this where this bullshit is headed, but because but because for I I want to at least see it through how bad this 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 fucking train wreck of a train wreck goes, I fall into the end, but I'm pretty sure I'm I'm probably gonna go insane after like after <laughs> I complete it, and hopefully I'm sane, but. Hopefully, uh, my sanity will come back pretty <laughs> soon afterwards. But yeah, that's awful. Straight up, period. So um, mm. I think we can get on to fall. If well, actually, uh, I'll, I'll just I'll just say my some of my disappointment first. Um, for one, one Josh and Chan drop kick. Two, um, Happy Sugar Life actually kind of disappointed me. Oh, you think you thought like, you're gonna like it a lot more or something? Like, here's the thing. Like, uh, like Rio, I know you watch Happy Sugar Life, right? You're, are you caught up with it? Yeah, I'm really caught up with it right now. Well, okay, yeah, here, here's the thing. Like, I expected, I, I guess this, this is kind of a fault in my part. I, I kind of expected uh, the main character, Sato, to just go, like, on a killing spree. Like, just go full Yuno Gasai and then just start killing anybody that, that try to make moves on Theo. But it oh, wasn't okay. like that at all. It should only kill like three people, and one of one of them like I, I really don't understand her logic at all. Because like there is the character she knows is lusting after her girl Shield. Yeah, she keeps him alive. Then there, but but her best friend, who is probably like the most likable character in the series, the most the, the sanest person in the series, she kills her in like the one of the most brutal ways possible. And I'm like, I, I I was still heartbroken after that, but. Oh, oh, good yeah. thing I didn't plan on watching it. Well, the thing, well, the thing, I think I could try to explain. I could try to explain. I mean, you don't need to agree with me on this. But the thing, the thing with that part, uh, it's because like if she went on, and I can understand her, why her she stuff. killed. Why she 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 killed um her. I can understand why Sato killed her, but like, it didn't really have to be in that manner. She literally just drew it, drew it out, like oh, drew yeah. out her oh. death. I think the okay the 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 reason why I can explain why she probably didn't go on this stunt killing spree is because like if she went on it she would have to go through so much trouble of trying to hide all of those bodies and I don't think she can do that in a short period in a in a short period of time and get away with it and mm -hmm. the fact that she would probably be found out a lot faster that's just yeah. that's just my personal for it though but I can get why you were disappointed because I I honestly expected her to do do something like that too. But I mean, she ha she has thought about. She I mean, I, to be fair, she has thought about. It. I mean, like, if she went on, if she really went on that, she probably would have. But because she has to, she really thought about. You know, that, that you, she can't just kill someone on a on a mo on moment's notice. Like, basically, if they get too close to, if they get too close, way too close for comfort, then they then you kill them. But uh, yeah, that I can understand where you're going at with that. I mean, if she gets the so, police on her, I mean, her aunt can just rape her. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you know, <laughs> but I mean, there's more. There's only so much policemen that the uh, ant can handle. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Did I, did, did, okay, that just sounded so wrong. Um, so let's move on to. So let's, uh, yeah, we're so let's move on to. So uh, we're going to wrap up actually. Let's, 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 let's without on that note, can we just move on to fall? I think like, we're actually the... we're, we're, we're almost hitting over we're hitting over out an hour and a half so we actually probably are probably gonna go wrap it up and we'll probably do a fall discussion for the next time. Yeah, and I actually had to go yeah. pick up my mom for pretty. Soon, so. I think that works. Yeah, that works pretty yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. it was a good podcast so you, though, definitely. So you guys want to do it like a, yeah. like a like a week or two or like once the fall season starts like. Or, yeah, we should uh, be able just to work be... out something where we can. Yeah, um, maybe just before I full, think full, uh, full season starts. Maybe just before it starts. Yeah. So, yeah, we can. So, um, we can, I, I, we can do. Can, can we do the same week? Uh, next week, same, uh, same day of the week on uh, same time. Is that okay with you guys, or is that? Yeah, well, that works for me. It just, it depends on my work actually, and I can double check. Yeah. Uh, 
we'll, we, we'll schedule something. We'll schedule something. But yeah. I, think, right. I think that would be a good way to end it. Um, we're going to go wrap up here. We're going to go say our closing uh, statements or whatever. Just or just say who we are really quickly just to close it out really quickly but that is another episode of weaves of the round table my name's Roman from Roman reviews here uh and i'm just gonna go la- leave it off for uh kawaii crew just say your goodbyes and then uh we will see you in the next podcast i'm the kawaii crew uh hope you enjoy this podcast and uh hashtag fuck island <laughs> wow. Wow. Was that was really was like... <laughs> we have. That was the whole point of this podcast, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. All right. Go ahead, Oliver. I'm Oliver. Thank you for joining us for this, what was it, hour and a half? About. Of about this, us. Bash. Yeah, about, yeah, about that and this, uh, you know, bashing slash enjoying uh the what was it the, the summer yeah summer season uh, um if you like any of our um like what we like what we do if you like you want to follow us please go ahead on um, youtube please subscribe to us it really does help our channel channels grow and yeah that's about it from me all right okay. <laughs> And then I do want to say, give thanks again to both Memory and Ryu for showing up. That would be definitely a good addition to the podcast. And hopefully we get to see you guys in more of them. Hopefully oh, for our, sure. Yeah, it was, hopefully our, it was uh, fun, man. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me on. I love always talking about these shows with other people. It's uh, it's always a lot of fun to do. And, uh, you know, moving forward to hopefully even better seasons with fall and in winter 2019 so yeah so yeah we'll, yeah we'll try to get back and one together. thing i have to say like kawaii crew i gotta say ayano hanasaki's mother did everything wrong <laughs> oh dude. oh that's a wor- no she had a worse no bad bad excuse for a mom no no, no. Let's not talk about that. we didn't talk about the show so i had to put that in there so yeah that's my last uh... i was about to mention it too uh, but i'm just like i'm not so sure if we want to talk about it because I, I was just went off about it. <laughs> yeah, I, even I've heard about that. All right. All right, man. So this is the boy radio station. Uh, like, uh, it's, I'm just, I'm just like start, starting off, like, this has been one year, one, almost like, uh, what? Uh, eight, like seven or eight months into it. So, I mean, you know, like nine months into the, into this reaction thing so far. Uh, I am still watching Tiso. Like, I hope I am. I'm really hyped for what will, will come up with fall. Um, just go if you're interested in my content. Just go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon if you want instant updates for new uploaded videos. As always, and also in every description of the video, in ev- in all the script in the descriptions of every one of my videos, there will be other channels I I I will show there that I also support and subscribe to go ahead and check it out it also includes memory and quiet as well just go ahead and subscribe to them as well hey. so uh, and also <laughs> also uh, check and also you can and also you will also check out my own discord server and my own patreon page which I barely have any patreon so to be fair so and also my uh, profiles to uh, analysts my list Twitter all those good stuff like if you want to contact me in, per- in personally I mean no, not in person, but online. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to get my damn house. Don't come to my damn. Don't come to my damn, to my damn house. Come on for candy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And also hashtag fuck Iron. Hashtag fuck Iron's mom. Hashtag uh, <laughs> fuck Lord of Vermilion. That's, I'm, I'm just gonna end up there. Uh, um, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much. It. Awesome. All right. Uh, the description. Uh, the link to the channels will be in the description as always. Uh, thank you for joining another podcast. We will be back hopefully soon. We'll we'll try to plan something out. Everyone has different schedules, after all. Mm-hmm. But we will try to get back know. together in the next week or so uh, to talk about fall season and then what we're probably going to be watching. Because even I have a pretty big list of what I'm going to be watching for fall season. Uh, you're going to we'll also to- try and get. Uh, I was going to quickly say we'll also try and get. Uh, and we'll, de- we'll definitely try and get Drunk in a Tokyo in here next time. We promise. Uh, 
but well, that's, that depends on his schedule. But I'm going to talk to him more about it later on. Yeah, yeah, Sweet. yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll have time. We'll have time to cool. talk about it. But yeah, nice. thank you guys so much for watching another podcast. Let me know what you guys would like us to talk about next time if we can get all the peeps and geeks in this next podcast. We'll see what happens. But until next time, thank you all for watching another episode of Weeps of the Roundtable, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Hashtag fuck Ino's mom. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.